well hello and good evening and welcome and all that kind of thing. So the first thing we need to ask, as ever we do, can you actually hear me? Is this actually a decent volume? Because, brilliantly, um, about, I would have said, uh, three minutes before the stream was supposed to begin, XSplit crashed, and it took with it all my settings. Like, everything I'd set up during the day for the stream cinema is completely gone. I've had to reset up everything again in five minutes. So, this is what we call slightly irritating. Also, I just went louder in my own headphones, and I don't know why, because I didn't change anything. Hmm. So, you all sound clear, but a little bit quiet. Well, hopefully, that weird boost I just got out of nowhere will certainly help. If not, there is the mighty gain on the back of this microphone. Mm. How's about that then, guys and gals? Yes, OBS Master Race, says JP Ronnie. I am in complete agreement on this because I've paid money to XSplit for quite some time now and it has never worked correctly. And it's now got to the, lev the sort of level where it basically doesn't really work at all, um, which is astonishing. So that's just great. Also, um, oh, thank you. Grav one. Grav. Um, yeah, uh, it will be a very static backdrop because I spent some time uh, setting up like an interesting old school plasma backdrop only to discover, uh, thank you, Arika 83, only to discover that brilliantly uh, you can't actually use that window. Thank you, Joe Trillion. I wonder if he really has a trillion dollars or just a trillion ants. Um, yeah, discovered that basically you can't stream it because it has to have the focus on the window at all times, and if it doesn't, it just goes away. Didn't notice that while I was testing it. Ah, anyway, if at any point it should get... Thank you, Macronex. A lot of subscribe people at the start here. Um, yeah, I'm slightly worried that the games will be a little bit too loud. But if they are, we shall do something about it. There we are. Also, there's a fly in the room, and it's really irritating. And even better, if you're really lucky, it'll land on the microphone and sound really, really awful. Thank you. Eases. Eases good. Eases good. Ebenezer's good. Ah. Right. <laughs> Somebody at the old one, 22, says, I use OBS even though I got a year of expert free with my new motherboard. Yes. 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 And again. Yes, I am totally doing this. Oh dear, there's also a third software now, apparently, but I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, before we begin, I would like to uh, ask a question to the room, so to speak. Um, I've got a lot of slots left for emotes. Is there anything specific you would like to see as an emote? Because it almost certainly can be done. I'm going to sort out a blowtorch, and perhaps even more relevantly... One of Shepsky from Human Killing Machine, because it is like the worst character portrait in the history of all par character portraits. Um, I'll write, uh, don't to write that down, actually, so I don't forget that. Yeah, so if anybody can think of anything else, the goose, that's when the grass masks, we've got grass masks, Dat Jackman. Like, literally, your first suggestion is something we already have. Um, the goose. And the third one from Eagle Beast, the bald guy, we already have him. He is already here. The, the, blimey, Chef Excellence. We've got Chef Excellence. Um, the goose isn't a bad one. The problem with the goose is, could you tell it was the goose from a distance? That is a question. Hmm. Eli Silverman, I'm not sure. <laughs> we can really use Eli's face, but there we are. Um, we could ask him nicely. A Quincy the Caterpillar email. A little bit niche, that one. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, MP83, maybe? Yeah, we could do a bit more Killjoy, maybe next week. Um, yeah, email me the save file, because the unlockables would be interesting. Um, a very Oh, the world's sharpest knife! How did I miss the world's sharpest knife? Vomit Ashens, yeah, maybe, maybe. Thank you, MetalFlax32, for subscribing there. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, I just thought of another good one, I've forgotten. Oh, it's Vomit Ashens, why the devil not? Oh, thank you, Deepest Blue Dragon. I will spend it on poisons to poison people who may deck stream. Not really. Um, all right, we're getting some good ideas here. I've got like five really solid ones. Uh, six, in fact. Any more? A Barry emotes. <laughs> Again, I think Barry would probably need his own face at some stage. Poundland bog roll. That is possible. 
I do still have some Poundland toilet roll. Um, yeah. Ah, Dat Jackman says, I'm that guy who tried to shake your hand at the wrong time in Nottingham. I have no memory of that whatsoever. Um, but good work. Thank you. Uh, we need a terrible old game sort of reference. Hmm, that's a good one. And Oh, man, we could have the elk from the cover of Terrible Old Games. Um, and maybe even a flickering skeleton. Oh, I couldn't flicker, though, could it? Thank you, Pappy Biscuits, is a phrase I say frequently, but this is the first time in the context of a Twitch uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, this is good. I'm liking this. King Cock from that Animal Farm set. <laughs> Says such a, such a shadow of bacon. Thank you, Gertrude Perkins. Another common phrase. And Moody Magpie 81 as well. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be funny without the name beneath it, and that wouldn't work. Oh, the screaming dude from Space Crusade. Now, that is a good one, Miss Squiggly Kitty. Um, Space Crusade Scream... Dude, there we are. I want to get rid of one of the horrible um, dolls we've got. We've got two of the... Um, God, I've forgotten what they're called. Some ridiculous name. Like Bluely Blair, Blair dolls or something. Oh, thank you, Mark JX8P. Um, hmm. The weird help me woman from the Casio Loopy sticker. Oh, man. I'd have to research what that was now, Bearded Lump. I can't remember that off the top of my head. I've tried to forget all about the Casio Loopy, but that will never happen. The golden hair says, I like fapping. That's a great name. Well done. Punish G. Oh, right. Punish G brings up something important, but he's also hideously wrong, I'm very pleased to say. Thank you, Sir Brimblecow. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a bit of rawness and end, wasn't it? Uh, Punish G, yeah, says that Poundland has gone into administration. This is untrue. Pound World has gone into administration, which is an entirely separate company. So Pound World and Poundland have coexisted relatively... Um, peacefully for some time but sadly due to economic woes pound world have been destroyed and have gone into administration and basically that will be the end of them really which is a shame um, because it did offer a slightly different uh, level of stuff to pound land but hey one cannot compete with pound land to say the least that will end in your destruction Thank you, Sesame Street. Or Sesame's Treat. Hey, see what you did there. Oh, and the boy Rossi has subscribed. About time too. Thank you, boy Rossi. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, so it, it's feasible, Shorty M86 says there, yeah, that Poundland could end up buying Pound World. Imagine that. Taurus Oxford asks, how does world lose to our land? Logic makes sense. Well, because there wasn't enough stuff to spread over a whole world, you see. Spreading resources too thin. Thank you, Nuclear Beagle. Some great names tonight. Um, but you see, they could just, had just enough to cover a land, but not enough to cover a world. I might start my own called Pound Shelf. And it's literally just a shelf. Give me a pound, you can have some of the stuff on the shelf. The stuff on the shelf is worth less than a pound. And that, my friends, is business. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Uh, if you want to know why Pound World went under, um, it was there was a massive drop in uh, the value of the pound uh, shortly after the uh, referendum last year. And the problem is, if you have a business where you basically you have to pretty much sell everything for one price, this is why they started diversifying, um, you are very much reliant on the value of the pound to, in order to buy things in cheap from China. So, of course, it dropped down. They sort of managed to weather that. It went up again, then it dropped again recently, and confidence just went from anybody buying it. And, oh, it's all a bit of a shame. Plus, they went up against Poundland, and to go up against Poundland is death. Thinking about it, um, Poundland did buy 99p stores, didn't they? Or did they just buy a lot of their locations? I genuinely can't remember. Hmm. Anyway, I had better uh, get a bit of a game running, I think, guys. So um, tonight we're going to be playing Hero Quest. Wait for it. Hero Quest. Who remembers that box? Answer, people have seen that box before. So, much like Space Crusade a couple of weeks ago, Hero Quest, well, Hero Quest was the original from uh, the Milton Bradley Stroke Games Workshop team up. They formed a giant Voltron of miniatures, and Hero Quest was the first thing that came out of it. So, um, it was basically a, a kind of very light 
sort of role-playing game for kids. Very simple. A lot of dice and a lot of simple rules. And it was the biggest thing in the world when it came out. I mean, like, everybody wanted 15 copies. It was absolutely huge. Because it was like a big box full of cool stuff, for starters. It was full of all these really nifty miniatures, and there's a big board, and there's bits of furniture. And um, there is an amazing uh, YouTube video called... Uh, i trying to think what the name of it is. I think... I, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically trying to tell you why HeroQuest is the best game in the world. And the, it's a very, very uh, bearded gentleman telling you about this. And keeps saying things like, The best thing about HeroQuest is the board. The best thing about HeroQuest are the miniatures. And basically, everything is the best thing about HeroQuest. Because, of course, that is entirely true. But yeah... There are an awful lot of very good things on this board game for kids to play with, and the game's pretty good. Have ever bought a tat from Sam99P? asked Deepest Blue Dragon. It's like 99P stores. Oh, damn. I've missed the end of it. No! I was reading that. Oh, there we are. Um, it's like 99P stores, but worse. Mostly in London Reading. Ooh! Ooh, that's thrown me off my... My Hero Quest is so great. That's the name of the video. Thank you, Pedgoth. That is entirely the truth. Um, sorry, I've been thrown for a loop there by discovering a new place. Sam 99P. I've never heard of it, but I'm totally going to look into it. I shall write it on my sheet here. Sam 99P in London. I am in London frequently. I shall have a look around. And sadly, no. Um, I did not get any uh, bargains from Maplin. But that's something we shall be discussing later. The collapse of Maplin. Let us all take one second silence. That was a second silence. So, <clears throat> Hero Quest then. Yeah, <clears throat> this was a good god. I cannot, I cannot explain just how popular this was for a short period. Yet, it's still really difficult to get hold of to this day. I think everybody lost all the pieces. I've still got quite a few. Um, in fact, I've got a load of miniatures. Sadly, most of them badly painted by somebody else, because I bought them all like a car boot sale or something. But I don't have a board with the bits and bobs. I think maybe the Nostalgia Nerd has a copy of Hero Quest. I may have to ask nicely if I can borrow it at some point in the future. And I'm pretty sure my friend Mickey has a copy of Space Crusade, because I've got a bit for him. Anyway... Hero Quest. Just look at it. See, there's like a torture rack there with an orc in front of it. There's chests. There's goblins. There's desks. There's doors. There's a big screen at the back so the dungeon master doesn't know what you're doing. Um, or you don't know what the dungeon master's doing, actually. Let's get that the right way round. Um, hmm... I'm trying to remember. There was a specific name given to the dungeon master, so to speak. Uh, Morcar? Yes, I think it was called Morcar. It had a different name if you had it in the American version of this, though. Something like Zagreb or Zagron or Ziggy Zaggy Zomblum Bum or something like that. Ah, good old Hero Quest. They released a lot of expansions for it later as well. Um, the first two were a bit crap. They were just basically, here's some more miniatures you've already got. Now you've got more of them! Um, but... There were some good ones later with all extra little bits they added. You could have, um, I think there's one that let you have like uh, bodyguards and things like that. They added new new sets and new rules and new miniatures and all exciting things. Anyway, we're going to be playing what we in the trade call the Amiga version of Hero Quest. At least we will if it works. Because, frankly, with the way things are going at the moment, this is a bit of a problem. Oh, something I'm going to mention, actually. Uh, before I forget. Uh, somebody told me on Twitter that there was a Brazilian version of uh, Hero Quest, but they didn't give you the miniatures. You just got little cardboard cutouts. And it was still really expensive. <sighs> that saddens me. But, hey, if you are in Brazil, you can now import a copy of this for only like a million pounds, probably, because it's really hard to get hold of it. I've just realised... That uh, all the main games we've played so far on stream over these three weeks have all been Amiga games, by coincidence. Hmm. Oh man, Nuclear Beagle wants me to play the original TV advert for Need Hero Quest so he can see the term Blood Sword. Oh man. Oh man, if only I had that queued up, but I'm afraid I don't. Um, maybe that's something we could do, but we can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd love to show um, Bardic Broadcast's video, the Why Hero Quest is so great, but it's a bit cheeky to uh, show somebody else's video, to say the least. So, let us see if I can get 
the accursed win uae up and running and we can play the almighty hero quest whichever i recall um yes that's true pedgeth i did play the st versus space crusades the amiga one crap out. i've tried again incidentally and i still can't get space crusade to run or rec recognize the second disc um through multiple versions on emulator or on a real amiga i don't know if like there's been a glitch in the matrix or something it's very very strange um or what was i gonna say uh, somebody just mentioned something very, very relevant. Um, no, I've forgotten it now. Sorry, whoever that was. I saw that and thought, that's really interesting. And now I've completely forgotten, and I can't see it now. Right. Bum -ba -da -bum. Let's make sure the disc's in. Pleasingly, here request comes on one disc for the Amiga, so it cannot refuse the second disc. And thank you for subscribing, Orino Red. Right. Uh, there is, well, there technically is a second disc, but it's like an expansion. I don't think it was up to much. They also weirdly made a, a home computer only sequel called Hero Quest The Legacy of Sorosil um, that I actually got an uh, original copy of for the Amiga the other day, weirdly, um, in a box of stuff. Um, I always, I really hated the visual look of it, so I never got it or played it, but that's something we should totally stream in the future. It got very, very oh. Oh, Low Life 101. We shall get back to that in a second, my friend. Um, yeah, I never liked the look of it, so I never played at the time. But it's definitely something we should uh, stream in the future, I think, because it was quite well received by the magazines at the time. Sorry, Low Life 101 has said there's a brand new version of Hero Quest called Warhammer Quest The Silver Tower. Right. So, Warhammer Quest was like a later version of Hero Quest. Uh, I never played it myself. There's an interesting iOS version. You can play on iPad and stuff. Uh, probably an Android version, I would have thought. Bit silly if there isn't. Um, fantastic. Yeah, apparently, this Warhammer Quest Silver the town's very good. I saw that um, Bardic Broadcasts actually had done a um, review of it, so I might have a look at that. Ah, good old Minsky's here. We salute thee, sir. It mentions a Sorosil sounds like some kind of detergent. It does, doesn't it? Or one of those pills a doctor gives you you really don't want to take. Right. Let us fire up the mighty Amiga emulator. Oh, something's happening. I think it's going to load. Oh, wow. Right, let me set this up so you can see it at home. And wait for it, wait for it. Something's happening. Wait, no, it isn't. <laughs> Thank you, Nulani. Right, why, why, why is this paused? I did not tell you to pause, when you AE. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's right. It started again. Oh, that was a bit of a worry for a second. Uh, I should totally do that thing where we speed up the loading, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do that. Because this is a slow old loader. And that will be incompatible and not work. Something. Here we are. Please press the space bar. Okay. Please consult your hero quest manual into anything on which this shield occurs. Okay. When I'm 64. Yay! Thank you, Zebron Viking. Oh, yes. Why is it so small in the middle of the screen? This is not good enough. I need to zoom in on this. Is this too loud? Yeah, it is. How's about now? It's too loud in my earphones, which is mildly annoying, but uh, I don't know how... Ah, that's better. Right, has this improved? Yay. Now it's too quiet, says something. Oh. Let's try about that. Good old music on this. I believe it is Barry Leach who also did Space Crusade. Now, can I zoom in on this in order to make it? No, I can't seem to zoom in on it anymore. Right, bear with me a second. Oh, it really annoys me that you can't just zoom in. What is this? Zoom, curse you. Must be a way for two. Uh... Oh, I can crop it. That's useful. Thanks. I can 3D rotate it. <laughs> That's just what I wanted to do. Well done. Well done. Oh no, let's move to the side a bit. 
No, this, is, this isn't doing a whole lot. Yeah, well. No, it just literally moves it to the side. <laughs> you can make it go... What is going on with this thing? Oh, X-Split. You are the most evil of all things. You really are. No, can't make it... Can't actually make it any bigger. Brilliant. Brilliant. Mm, I want to try and force it through the emulator. If not, you will just have to sit closer to your monitors. Um, right, let's stop the music there. I do apologise. I thought it was quite funky music. Um, let's see what I can get out of this. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Ooh. Mm, I don't think I can get it any bigger without a lot of fiddling offline, annoyingly. That is extremely annoying. Um, yeah, I can only double the size of it, so... Uh, well! That's good, isn't it? It said press spacebar. I pressed another button. And, uh, oh, damn. Mm. Oh, well, let's have it in English, then. We could, of course, switch over to... Oh, this is the music, I remember. And I've never played the Amiga version before, but I've heard this music many times, for it was on a compilation of things. Right. When I actually upload this to YouTube, I think I will blow this up. As in, um, <laughs> enhance it, not physically make it explode. That will not help anything. Right. Ooh. This is where you select your character, if I recall. Yes. I played the ST version. Right, so you've got the Barbarian. He big strong. He have big sword. He make things die. He has the broad sword. The broad sword. Oh, I can't do the... Uh, the Man, the TV advert for this was astonishing. Um, uh, the Barbar is kind of like easy mode, though, because he's so strong and rolls so many damage dice. Hmm. You've got the Dwarf, who I don't actually remember at all. And you've got the Elf, who can sort of fight a bit and he's got a bit of magic. And you've got the Wizard, who does much in the way of magic, but a bit crap for the punchings. And things will need to be punched at some stage. Right, you... No, I don't want you. Uh, we're going to be the elf. We may have made it too hard for ourselves. The elf will be called... Oh, apparently you... Unbelievable! It won't let you type. You have to click on the letters in a row. Well, he's going to be called... Elfie... Z apparently, because, uh, yeah, I've accidentally clicked on the thing. He's called Elfies. That is his name. And now that is a problem. I hope nobody's watching. Oh, God. I was about to say, I hope nobody's watching this on a phone, because it's going to be so small. Literally, Anktar has just said, watching this on my phone, the screen is as small as my thumbnails. Oh, dearie me. Right. Oh, there's a magnet on a disc. I don't know. Look at that. Mm, load. Right. What is this? Resurrect? No idea. Oh well, he's in play, okay. Oh, here we are. Elfies, what can you buy? Nothing, I haven't got any gold. Broad sword. Well, that, that, that's a bit disappointing. Well then. Elf, choose your spells. Hmm. I might be able to use OBS to make it larger, test zero, but unfortunately I'm not using OBS at the minute. I'm using XSplit. I'm using XSplit for the last time. Um... I think I'm going to go with fire because it sounds like it'll make things burn right, choose your quest the maze, the rescue of Sir Ragnar lair of the orc warlord Prince Magnus's gold legacy of the orc warlord anybody else, barrow of the witch lord, that sounds dangerous well I, don't, I'm, I think we should probably start um, at the top because it's going to be easier, isn't it and I, uh one imagines <coughs> um, mm, yeah because we haven't been able to buy any stuff or anything is it so uh, this will have to do this will be your final test before you set forth what be sure to use all the skills that you have been taught what you must attempt to find your way out several monsters have been placed in the maze they will try to stop you so take care whoever finds his way out first will be rewarded with a hundred gold coins it's only me mate it's going to be me. This may be used to buy equipment for the adventures to come. I understand, mental. I mean, mental. Okay, the music's gone quite funky. Oh, uh, that'll be your movement dice. 
Bling! Nine! Well, that sounds like I can move quite far. Well, we're pretty much going to have to go left or right, aren't we? So, uh, let's go this way. I don't know why I said left or right. It's kind of uh, mm, northwest or southwest. Boop. Oh, there's, I've just written a massive picture of Morkar glaring at you the whole time. Right, we're going to go in here. That is the map, if I recall. Yep. Cool. Uh, that is your inventory. No potion taken. I have no weapon. He's using his hands. He's a ninja elf. Now we're talking. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. What is this? The stone beneath you gives way over a trap. You fall into the pit and lose one body point. Right. That is obviously the search for treasure button. And not a button I should be pressing again. Oh, and now I can't do anything. Because that was using up my turn, apparently. Great. Right. Open, does this open the door, do you think? You search but uncover nothing. Oh, I search for secret doors. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Bottoms. Now I apparently can't attack. What's the key? That opens the door. We got there eventually. Oh, there's something in there. An orc. Okay, this is problematic. Well, let's go in. Hello, Walkie. Oh, and because of search for secret doors, I can't attack. And yes, Rodent of the Astral Waste. I think that is Alan Moore in the background. There was an Alan Moore lookalike in Moonstone as well, wasn't it? Hmm. Right, now the Orc's going to attack us. Great. You survived the attack. I've lost, I've lost two body points. I haven't done anything yet. Oh, my God. Right. Orc, you've gone down. <laughs> that is a sound effect. <laughs> that is the sound effects an orc makes when he dies. When can we get the broad sword? Damn it. Right, that's good. Uh, I'm not going to search for treasure. Because uh, I haven't got any points left to do that. Um, right, that's the end of that turn. Nine. Right, we're moving well. In here. Hmm. Four movement points left. <laughs> Is that enough, do you think? What is this magic? Yeah, how do you spell magic? Cast a spell. Courage. I don't know what that does. Fire of Wrath, Ball of Flame. Gotcha. Uh, oh. Because I cancelled and I can't move anymore. What? 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 Oh, let's search for treasure. Rummaging through old clothes reveals 20 ancient gold clothes. There are only clothes in the room. Were they the clothes he was wearing? Good grief. Right. Seven, you say? Hmm. <coughs> oh my god, Reap Madness has just pointed out that scream sounds dangerously similar to the ARG at the start of Space Crusade. Yep, I reckon it is the same guy, or possibly even the same ARG. Remember to search for traps. Hmm, I don't know how you do that. Is that the key? Or was it? No, that opened the door, didn't it? I'll oh, just run in. Great, I found a pile of poo and an orc behind it. The orc looks like he's holding a letter, but I think that's supposed to be a meat cleaver or something. Go on, in we go. Still nothing. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Folks23. Hmm. Hmm. Go on, search for treasure. Oh, 25. Well, we're doing well with the search for treasure. I feel we may be pushing our luck a little bit on this. Three. Great. One, two. I can't get to him. Right. Fire of wrath. Burn the orc. Fire rages around your opponents, but they are unharmed. Right. Gonna be honest, guys. I don't think that was very effective. And, as a result, magic... I've just remembered magic is generally quite poor. Wow, I, def I got two defense dice and he got no attack dice. But, yeah, two. Well, I may as well just attack him where I am, really, might I? Oh, look at this. <laughs> he has evaporated when I hit him with my sword that I apparently don't have. Okay. Uh, hmm, six left. Yeah, let's just run in. If I run in, I mean run out. Hmm. Well, this is a bit poo, isn't it? I reckon we go up this way and see what occurs. Hopefully find some spells that I'll... Oh, no, we can't because there's a thing in the way. Oh. Oh. I'm search for secret doors and traps. 
Foolishly left unhidden lies a small box containing 25 shiny gold coins. I often leave small boxes of 25 shiny gold coins in, in corridors, so that makes perfect sense to me. Ten. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, how do we... So that's all blocked off. That's what... Oh, we have to walk up and around there, aren't we? Oh, man. Well, it was called the maze, I suppose. <laughs> he walks like he's holding in a stingy pee, says Lolo. <laughs> he does a bit, doesn't he? That weird shuffling sound effect. Um, search for uncovered. Yeah, there wasn't going to be a secret door, really, was there? Oh, no. Don't tell me there's a secret door we have to go through to finish this. Do you know what? I don't care. Well, something I'd like to know, actually. Why is he silver in the picture up there and yet blonde in the game? Weird. This room's been searched before. Yes, that is true. It has been. Well done for remembering. Hero quest. The, oh. the mechanism of the pit trap creaks under your weight, yet it holds. So, uh, that's... Oh, I was going to say, why didn't that turn up when I searched there? But I suppose... Um, that's because it appeared earlier when I searched, didn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Go on then, might as well search. I've got a healing potion. Oi, yeah, baby. That's probably going to be super useful. Go on then. <laughs> it looks like he's just holding up a candle or something. Go on, keep your shuffling going. We shall search. As you're busy searching, a monster stalks up and you attack, so that's not good. What monster? Another orc? Oh, what? You survived the attack. I've got one body point left. I need to use this healing potion, which I'm glad I found. Potion of healing. The fluid revives you. Yay! Yay! Now the orc can kill us again. <laughs> oh, dear me. Six. Oh, he's gone. What? Where'd he go? He just ran away. A wise move for I may use my super magic power of uselessness. I can't reach him. Do you know what I'm going to? Ball of flame. Eat flame, hellhound. Fire consumes your opponents. Ha! And again. Ha! Nice if we saw it, but there we are. Nine, right? We're going in this door. I don't care what happens. We're in, baby. Mm, might just search in here. As a bit, oh, I've got to stop doing this, really, haven't I? Another. Oh, bloody hell! Three. We lost three body points, and he's going to get another attack in. I think we're going to lose in this room. Oh no, he's he's running to the corner. Good. You stay there. This is a dead end. Unbelievable. I'll just attack it. <laughs> Nobody rolled anything. Just everything sits there, completely silently. The enemy survived. Gee, I wonder how. Oh well, uh, now he gets another chance to kill me. But great, yeah. Well, this is going to go. You have sustained. <laughs> You have sustained a lethal injury. Sorry, but you are finished here. Yeah, well, that's one way of putting it. Can I, can I buy some stuff? Now he's dead? Yes, he has 70 quid. But the broad sword is 250. Oh, thank you, Captain Fantabulous. That is... Uh, made me feel a bit better. And Fritchie96 has subscribed via Twitch Prime. I discovered something. Oh yeah, Sir Sh Sh Shadow of Bacon. That is indeed the same scream. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, I discovered something the other day, which is uh, something I've literally forgotten what I was saying. That's really useful. I've got it in the back of my head that I need to, in some way, expand the size of this accursed um, emulation, and I cannot work out how to do it. Hmm. 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 Anyway, in case you missed it, we bloody died. Oh, dearie me. Thank you, Leo Panthera. Yeah, there was a bit more of a pause, and it wasn't that meant to I realised that after I'd done it. Um. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Right, can we bring him back from the dead? 
the character is renewed. He's renewed, so he is. And he's lost all his money. So basically that's... Is my noise. <clears throat> no, I'm not using OBS, Mr. Thomas. Well, no one I bloody will be next week, though. Ah! Oh! Right. Saxo Mumf... See, I wish somebody else had come up with this idea that I could pronounce the name better, but yeah. Crop the video and expand the size and XSplit. Right, we're going to try this. Right. Everything could go horribly, horribly wrong. What I'm going to do... Let's go here. That's that's weird. What's happened there? No, that is a bad source of copy. Just made an extra, even smaller copy. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Maybe. Oh yes, baby. Right. Away with you. Oh hell yeah. Hero quest is now big. Well, it's, it's big. Yeah, I thought it was going to get smaller too, Polo Juice, but it didn't. Look at that. I, I literally held my hands up for applause there. I don't know why, because somebody else told me what to do, and you were quite right. That was a good plan. Right. <clears throat> nobody, oh, I was going to say nobody's made the joke about um, <laughs> it being too big, but no, several people have now. Um... Yeah, you can't just increase the pixels, but if you could. Well, that's marvellous. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it hasn't made it bigger on my screen, so <laughs> I'm still clicking on this tiny goddamn thing. Uh, I might just play it, actually, in the Twitch window. Um, which is ridiculous, I'm in the X-Split window. Right. Um, I didn't like Elfie very much. I thought he was rubbish. I thought he was the worst character that's ever been shat out of Satan's ass. And I'm totally going to use him again for the next one. Right, he's back. He's in play. Um, do we want the fire one again? It was rubbish, wasn't it? Well, a lack of attack does seem to be a thing. Now, nah, let's go water. Right, the maze. I understand, mentor. And this time we're going up this way. Pity, because I've missed out on all that uh, gold I found. I found like 70 gold in there. Do we dare risk searching? Yes. Oh, 50 quid immediately. Look at that. Look at that, my friend. Oh, yeah. Six. Hmm. It's not going to quite get to the door, is it? Oh, it does, but I can't go in. Well, might as well search again. Bloody hell, I've got the 70 quid back in two turns. This is astonishing. This is absolutely astonishing. Right. Nine. It's in like Flynn. If I recall, there's an orc in the next room. Because these aren't randomly generated. Uh, now we will punch the orc. Nice. Nice. And thrice nice. Seven. Hmm. I'm going to... I think this... How do you get through these areas? I'm actually going to search for a secret room and then probably instantly regret it. Yeah, I... I yeah. Hmm. I did instantly regret it, yeah. Actually, it'd make more sense in this room, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I'm going to come out. Oh, wait, you can't... Oh, bloody hell. Do you know what? I am going to search for a secret door in this room. A secret... Oh, yes. It was the design of it. Something about it felt off. Hmm. Do we dare go in the new room? Is there anything in there? No. Oh well, that's good. I'm not actually sure where we're supposed to be getting to, just finding the way out. Eleven. Oh man, we can just run now. Whee! Oh. <laughs> we could just run, we're in another bloody dead end. Oh, well, alright, another secret door. Yeah, there we are. Alright, marvellous. Next turn. Six. That should get us in. Right. Oh no, we're now background. Oh, there is an orc. Hmm. Sent to sleep. Interesting. 
Water of Healing, Veil of Mist. Veil of Mist sounds like a stealth thing, I'm not sure how that'd work. Water of Healing is obviously healing, that's useful. Send to sleep. Hmm. 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 Incidentally, if anybody knows why you have to uh, roll a dice to move, I have no idea. I'm going to send this guy to sleep. He falls down to sleep where he stood. Ha ha ha. Two. Now I can run up to him. With two. Enemy out of range of your weapon. Why can't I have a bow? I'm an elf. They have those. I read it somewhere. And he's no longer asleep, and he's come back to life. I defended myself once, and then lost two body points. <laughs> On the plus side, the Toad Elevator has subscribed. I mean, you can't argue with that, can you? Right. You're going down, Orky. Going down, mate. <laughs> you failed the staring contest. Oh, great. Now I lose, like, another 43 health points. Oh, just the one this time. Oh... Uh... Right. Yay! That'll teach you for not evaporating. Right. Straighten this one. Oh my god! I think that's the way out. You are the first to escape the maze. You are rewarded with 100 gold coins. You escaped the quest intact. Well done. All the players are out. Ooh! So I have 170 gold. Hmm. I want the broadsword or the battle axe, but hmm, hmm. Uh, hives. Yes, you or hives. I'm gonna say hives. You did roll dice to move in the original board game. You absolutely did. I know it's, it's such a weird thing, but uh, you rolled two d d six. Um, sorry, I'm gonna have the short sword, so at least I've got something I can attack people with. Uh, how do you equip it? I don't think you do. I think you just have it. Right. I'm going back for fire. This one's a bit boring. The rescue of Sir Ragnar. Oh, Sir Ragnar. Come with us. Sir Ragnar, one of the Emperor's most powerful knights, has been kidnapped. Well, should have been more powerful then. He's being held prisoner by Ulag, the Orc Warlord. You are to find Sir Ragnar and bring him back to safety. Prince Magnus will pay 200 gold coins to the character who rescues Sir Ragnar. No reward will be paid if Sir Ragnar is killed whilst escaping. Oh no, not protect the NPC. Oh no. Oh no. And Lord of the Poppadom, yes, we will be having an E3 video with Larry this year. Of course. It's the reason we live. Right, so I reckon. Oh, oh no, no! I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, there's a goblin. It's slightly weaker than a walk somewhere, I recall. Uh, this is not going to be good. Mm. Oh, there's a table. Uh, thanks for marking that on the map. Oh, bums. I'll get my legs attacked off. No, they didn't do anything. The idiots. Can I burn one? Fire of a ball of flame. Oh, no, I, think, I don't think any of them hit multiple targets, actually. Um, right. The goblin will be weak, so I'm going to go for the orc first. Hopefully I roll more dice now. Ooh. Well, the short sword certainly seems to have helped. Or maybe it's totally coincidental and I've wasted my money like an idiot. I probably should have looked up what the broadsword did first. Oh, look at this! I like the way the goblin just really lazily pokes at you with its weird big knife. Right. You go down now. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, then. And now it's the staring contest. Oh, my goodness. I'm beginning to think the short sword has given me the same amount of dice I already had, and I've just wasted the thing. I, I don't think you do equip things, Pedgift, do you? Oh, do from the inventory. Yeah, hang on. I'd forgotten there's the in game one. Yeah, look, weapon and use your hands. I've just got the short sword here. Who bloody ray? Good shout, Pedith. Pedgith. Right. Now you're in trouble. Ooh. Nice. Right. Uh, what are we looking at? I think we're going to go out here. There's a bit of furniture. A Welsh dresser or something. And now... We are here. 
and I'm going to end the turn here because I do not wish to uh, walk on one and probably find some orcs or something. Well, that was a bit of shuffling, wasn't it? Let's have a search. 25 quid. Nice. Thank you. Fast Ethernet one. Right. And now, we see what's behind door number one. It's some git, but also a chest. Let us vanquish the git first. No, that did not work. Thank you, Chistastic. Hmm. Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this. No, no, it's alright. It's alright. It's all, alright. Everything's alright. Right, that's a high roll, which doesn't really matter. And thank you, Wooden Dove, for subscribing. Oh, yes. This is going to be our chest. I don't know how you open it. <laughs> is that the key thing, do you think? So, I have to wait for another turn, and no. Let's do the search for treasure. You search the chest, but recoil and discover it's trapped. It's too late, you're caught and lose one body point. Yeah, but was there any treasure in it? So I found a chest, and all I got in the chest was injured. And oh, I can't attack it because I've all turned. Well, on the plus side, didn't lose any more. Right. I'm going to think this guy can bloody rescue himself. Get the orc. Oh. The enemy survived. Um, on the hero quest dice. If I recall, there are three skulls, which are the attack uh, icons, uh, two defensive shields, which are defense for your character, and one black shield, which is defense for the Evilton, uh, i.e. whichever monster you're fighting. So actually, there's only a one in six chance of them allowing themselves a single point of defense, because rolling the good guy defense stuff does no good at all. Right, that'll do. That was fun. Um, can we kill it now, please? Please? Yes! Yay! Now, which way do we go? Mm, I think this way. Don't rightly know why. That's good. That, that's the best place I've ever been. There's got to be a secret door here, surely. There was not a secret door here. Well, this way then. <laughs> oh dear. Right. There's something going on here. Oh my god, it's Goblin Bloody Central. Right, what spells have we got? Courage, fire a rough ball of flame. Well, uh, let's just kill the goblin right next to us first. Bums. This is going to be... A very, very bad turn. So, you remember what I was saying earlier about the Barbarian being kind of the easy mode? Well, let's see if that's true, shall we? <laughs> the Barbarian will be called the Almighty Colin. Because that is a very barbarian name. Right. Let's see if he can do better getting Sir Ragnar. Also, does this mean the chest will just be a trap again? Hmm. I wonder. Right. No spells, but spells weren't great. The healing one was useful, and that was it, really. Oh, I found a heroic brew. I forgot what that does. It's a brew that's heroic, one imagines. Okay. No, he can't get over. But he can kill the goblin probably quite easily. Yep. It's a little bit of a cricket move he does there, I've noticed. Left over from Moonstone last week, probably. And you have more hit points. This really is the game on easy mode, isn't it? Right. Goodbye, orc. And by goodbye, I mean, you know, stay around, have a drink, maybe have a sandwich or something. Ugh. Go on. 
Yay! Uh, no, you had to go through here, didn't you? There we go. I've just realised the music is just a really short loop. The version I'm used to listening to um, has much more to it. Very odd. Right. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Now if I recall, oh, I probably should have searched or something there. That room was rubbish. And want to go up here and wipe out Stinky the Orc. Oh, look at that. Well, I could search the cabinets, but I'll probably just get injured. This is the real kingdom. Mm. Right. Oh. I've just noticed it looks like you're walking on a chocolate bar the whole time. All the floor looks like chocolate. Mm. Thank you, Ghostly Toast. As you're busy searching a monster, oh, I thought it might. Great. Orc? Yeah. Ha ha! Nobody dies this day. It is a good day. Better if I killed the orc, but you know, that's just the way the game works, really. I can only move three. Did he stub his toe or something? Hmm, what do we do? Do we go f after the two orcs yet? Or do I stay here and search? I'm going to stay here and search. It's been searched before. I forgot. Um, that's what made the orc come in the first place. Uh. Uh. Right. But the barbarian is strong. He can fight his way out. One down already, which means he now faces exactly the same odds the elf did. This is going to be interesting. Great. Already an injury. Goblin's going to come in and have a pop as well. Yeah. Well, have, have a staring contest. Great. I can move miles, but... Uh, yeah. Nowhere to go. Ow! Oh! The best thing about Hero Quest is the way you can't hit anything. Oh dear. Right. Uh, oh wait, that's good. <laughs> I just want something to happen. Oh, grab and jabbed by a goblin. Ah, oh, he survived the attack. Great. No wait, that is good. Right. Please get the orc this time. Yay! Vertical slice. You did. Right. You survived the attack. That's that's probably a good thing. <sighs> Great. Gonna need to heal up soon, aren't I? Marvellous. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I've got a really bad feeling about this. As in the sense that I don't think we're gonna make it through here. Even with the easy mode character. He may only have two brains, but can hit things with a sword. And I'm going to be honest, that's proving a lot more useful than that magic that the uh, slightly useless elf had. Right. Do we go in this room? What do you reckon? I reckon we do. Sir Ragnar! Hello, are you Sir Ragnar? Oh, he won't Sir Ragnar. On the plus side, I didn't get injured. Right. Oh, look at this. Now that is quality barbarian -ing. Um, I think, yeah, go through this way. Die, you were! Oh, man! I forgot what they're called. Big lizard men. A femur? A firmer? No, it's going to be a femur. No, F-I-M-I-R. I... No, if, F -I, -M -I, -R. I I don't know how that uh, is pronounced. We're going to call him Fimiri Mimilifliblimlim. Yes, the music did move or change even. There's something in it. Why can't I go back out of the room? The music's gone proper. Hooray. No, he's just going to stand there and wait for something. I think because the barbarian is strong, we will take on the mighty beast, the femur. Isn't that just like a bone? Oh dear, this, this may not go as well as I thought. Uh, 
Oh, oh blimey. Yeah, this thing's quite hard. Just in case you hadn't noticed. Go on then, go on then. Yes! All monsters have one hit point. So maybe the gargoyle? I can't remember. Well, that's good. Let's stay here for a second. And what I shall do is search for secret doors. Yes! I thought as much. But I don't have anything to heal with. Do I have anything to heal with? No, I've got the heroic brew, haven't I? Oh, I could use the heroic brew then. Uh, well. You have found Sir Ragnar. An alarm has alerted all of the guards. You must guide Sir Ragnar to safety. I honestly thought it said glide Sir Ragnar to safety. And he was on, like, roller skates or something for a second. Uh, right. Let's end the move here. Oh, right, I understand how this works. Yep, he's got his own movements. He's the greatest knight in all the land, but he can't fight. The elf was willing to punch people. Crying out loud, guys. Right. We'll get Colin in first. I mean, he's, he's going to walk painfully slowly and search for treasure. He's found a vial of holy water. I'll help with this some evil skeletons. Oh. So Ragnar tripped on stone or something. Oh, man, this is a problem now. Um, mm, I've already searched for both in here, so there's no point. Yay! Actually, enough to walk somewhere. Go on, Sir Ragnar. We've got to get out of here, man. This place is going down. Uh, uh, I'd better stay in this room, really, haven't I? We are going back the right way, aren't we? That's probably quite important. Ooh. Orc. Goblin Orc. Orc Goblin Treasure Chest. Hmm. There's a treasure chest there as well. Hmm. Hmm. Who gives a shit? I need to get some Ragnar out of here. I've just found a hundred gold coins just sitting about. There we are. In he goes. Yay. Oh. So Ragnar. It's having leg problems. I think we all need to uh, realise that. Just thought I'd try that. Right. Oh, for crying out loud. He's only got one movement dice, hasn't he? That was a noise. Right. <clears throat> Tell you what. Walk outside. Check for treasure. Something will have happened. Oh. Orc comes and gives us a slap. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Right, stay in this room for crying out loud, mate, or you you will get minced. Oh no, the orcs run for it. Right. I'm actually gonna block this route and allow uh, Sir Ragnar here to run out the back. Ooh, new toot entirely now. Right, this is getting tense. Well, it's not really. Come on. Through the chocolate. This root type should be clear, shouldn't it? Yeah, we just gonna go back around here. I might have a go for the treasure chest on the way through, I don't know. I think it's a bit risky to open the treasure chest, isn't it? Hmm. Tank catapult, thank you. What's your favourite Warhammer? Oh, the original 40k race. Hmm. Hmm. That is a good question. Didn't mind the Imperial Guard. Um, the Dark Elves were always interesting in the 40k stuff, but they were a bit... Uh, they got a little bit too sort of edgelord creepy as time went on, I think. Um, oh, bugger. Eldar. I'm going to go for the Eldar. The standard Eldar are probably my favourites with their all their web and weird stuff going on. Hmm. Hmm. So, oh my god, add keys. Is it true that Ubisoft is giving EA a run for its money for the worst E3 conference so far? Because that, e, that, that EA conference was... That was a thing. And it was not a good thing. Right. Come on then, barbarian bloke. Let, oh, bloody hell, he's in the way. <laughs> right, don't go in there. 
There is, I believe, a chest. A chest of treasures. But they are not treasures for you. No. Oh, I could have searched from there. I don't know, I'm a bit worried about searching now. The whole low hit body points. Right. Good work, Ragnar. You've actually gone on ahead a bit. And in we go. Go on, then. Take out the orc. Search the chest. Last time the chest just had a trap in it. Ooh. Nice. Right, you keep running, mate. Five, you say. Oh, you don't have to walk up to it, do you? You just have to press that button. No, literally, it is always a booby trap. Right. There he goes. Come on, Colin. You can see the potion seller. You get his strongest potions. Preferably of the healing variety. I, I dare not search anymore. <laughs> Because <laughs> he will not survive. So Ragnar only had two health points as well. Go on. Oh no, I've walked him too far. Blimey. The ice on the tree got to me. And we're going in. Oh, nearly. Go on, Sir Ragnar. Look at Sir Ragnar. That table, just for you, I've walked him too far again. He hasn't got the bloody movement points to be doing that. Well, the movement dies. I've just done it again. Unbelievable. Go, Sir Ragnar, go. Jump down this hole that we have painted to resemble steps. Wear the ring of Artorius the Abyss Walker and walk all the way down and fight the four kings. Right. And... The Emperor bestows 200 gold coins to the saviour of Sir Ragnar. And Emhel1 has just subscribed. It's all go around here. Right. Whoop, 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 whoop. I like the way you get the 200 coins when the other guy escapes. Even if you're over the other side of the dungeon. The prince himself just rides on in to give you the money. No, no, no. A Lannister always pays his debts. <sighs> what can we buy? from the potion seller. Chainmail's too expensive and plate arm's too expensive. That's all I want. The shield. The helmet. Is there only one? <laughs> There's only one shield and one helmet in the kingdom? What's going on, guys? Oh, dearie me. Hmm. Hmm. And um, There's no point buying swords, because I believe uh, the barbarian, with his bare hands, rolls three combat dice, which is the same as the broadsword. Meaning the short sword is probably two dice, so in fact it was pointless me buying that for the elf. Curses! Um. Oh, Dead by Day 1978, the plate mail instantly gives you one dice move. Yes, you are correct. It is absolutely awful. Yes. Broadsword. Right, um... I am tempted to buy a helmet or a shield. What do you think? Oh yeah, save up for the crossbow. The crossbow's good. You can attack people on other screens and stuff, as uh, somebody just said that I've completely missed. Uh, Dead by Day 1978, yeah. Now, the broadsword-related joke flum is that there was a TV ad for this at the time on UK television, and which features children with really bizarre accents, and one of them picks up a broadsword card and plays it and goes, broadsword, or something. Um, do you know what? I'm going to keep the money. Or am I? Or am I? Yes, because I genuinely cannot remember what the others do. Um, I would like the crossbow, ultimately, but I don't think we're going to be playing it that long, frankly. Yeah, sod it. We're going to have a shield, and we're going to have the he helmet. Oh, it's gone from the shield and the helmet to a shield and a helmet. Well, I'm not sure I would have bought them now if I didn't know they were unique. I think I may have wasted my money, and I may have to ask to see the manager. Um, hmm, hmm. Oh, the battle axe gives you four attack dice, but you can't use a shield with it. Yeah, four attack dice is worth a lot more than the shield, though, isn't it, if I remember? 
Right. Hmm. I've got a plan, guys. The plan goes like this. I'm going to bring another character in. Uh, the wizard. Who we shall call... <laughs> I just click on the wrong thing already. Git. The wizard. There we are. And we're going to attempt a much later dungeon. Right, wizard, have fire. Water. Air. I don't know. And not the earth one. Even though that seemed to have probably the best um, art on it. And we shall go up. I thought that said something different. That was a bastion off for a second. The Barrow of the Witch Lord. War with the Eastern Orcs is brewing, and the Emperor needs to unite the lesser kingdoms for the conflict to come. To do this, he must find the ancient Star of the West, as worn by the Kings of Legend, and by Rogar when he battled with Morkar in ages past. Is everybody called R or something around here? Anyone who finds this gem will be given 200 gold coins. I got that just for rescuing the bloke. The gem lies in Barak Tor. That sounds very Lord of the Rings. The resting place of the Witch Lord. He was also known as the King of the Dead, a powerful servant of Morkar, and was destroyed by the Spirit's Blade long ago. The Spirit's Blade is the only weapon that can harm him. Oh. Oh. There could be a problem here. And I tell you why. We haven't done the quest where you get the Spirit Blade. <laughs> we may get up to the Witch Lord and not be able to hurt him. That would be problematic. Right. In you go, mate. I've forgotten to heal. He's only got one body point. Oh, bums. Wear the shield. Wear the, no, don't take the shield off. Wear the shield. Wear the helmet. Oh, blimey. Oh, crikey. Oh, Riley. Um, perhaps I can use the magic of the wizard in order to heal him. Hmm. Water, please. Water of healing. On the barbarian. Hey! Ba 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 da bam. Boo! Right. Um, might as well wander out, I suppose. Why am I sending the wizard in first? And why does the wizard always have one ha arm in the air? I know that's what the miniature was like, but come on, guys. That's just weird. We still only got five hit points. You could do with healing a fair few more. Oh, I have a search. A vial of holy water. That might be bloody useful, because I think this thing's going to be full of skeletons. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Bums. Great. I already got a scythe wound. I've only just started. Um, great. Do you have access to the... No, they have separate inventories, which makes sense, I suppose. Um, hmm... Hmm. <laughs> He's half dead. <laughs> oh, and you're stuck be Oh, I've muffed this up a tree, haven't I? Right. Um, you can't even move. You've got two. Is there one here that looks like it'll get rid of uh, swines? Fire of wrath. Burn, skelly, burn. Fire consume your opponent. Nice. Right. From now on, Colin the Barbarian, you should be called the one who does stuff. For obvious reasons. And you're still stuck behind him. Secret door? No. Ugh. Yes, I could play the Crystal Maze, Andy B. 1986. I absolutely could. Hmm. Yay. Stay there. Hold it, then you can search. Got a potion of strength, but you can't give it to the barbarian. I don't think there's actually a mechanic for that. Right. Stay there. I'm just going to search for secret monkeys. And just look through the door. Because <laughs> I don't want to go in yet. Oh, there's a mummy in there. Ooh, it's all got a bit... Oh, bloody hell. Though he's stuck behind him, isn't he? This is fiddly. Right, go in. You are the barbarian. You can. You are strong. 
Quan is strong. Enemy needs three knockdowns. Go. Okay, that could have gone better. I'll be brutally honest with that. Mind you, the wizard now gets to run in and try. Aha! Well, that went a lot better than I thought it would, to say the least. Ah, I now feel as if we are in a strong position to not know where we are. Secret door? No. Oh, well. Oh, he's blocking the bloody door, isn't he? Hang on, are you telling me? There's nowhere to bloody go! <laughs> Look, it came out of here and it's a... Is there a secret door here? No, I've already searched. And now we can't move any further and I've blocked the bloody door again. I've already done that, haven't I? Yep. Good grief. This is a fiddly monkey, isn't it? Right. Here. No, that's been searched for as well. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Hmm. You need to think that this whole witch lord thing is a little bit of a bum rap. Search for that. It's probably been searched before. Yeah, I think some of the orc came out, isn't it? So, it can't be here, surely. Unbelievable. Un bloody believable. It was in the first room. Right. Come on, Barbarian Bob. Or let's give you your proper name, Colin. Let's get in there. Right. Oh, he's got twelve. As a matter of fact, I can't really move anywhere at the second. Goblin, you can take a goblin, can't you? You know you can. Yes, he can as well. Good work, wizard. Barbarian, get yourself... Oh, man, 12. That is very useful. In, in you go. Yay! And they're together again. Back with the boys again! As you're busy searching a monster... Oh. Great. Haha. -ha. Right, I'm afraid you must try and... Oh. What? Did I click just off the... Um... Ugh. Ugh. Well, you've got Heroic Brew, great. That's right, he's got to hide in the corner. The Barbarian does not take kindly to skeletons who hide in corners. And he will destroy you. For you are the weakest. <laughs> There we are. Enemy's dead. Marvellous. Wizard. Get in here, mate. We've got some stuff to do. Right. Nine. Looks like we can only go this way, so we're probably going to go this way. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, that's the way I like to do things. Right. And in here is... A zombie and another zombie. What we call a two-zombie crew. Hmm. Hmm, and I think you've got to get through there to go around there, haven't you? Unless there's a secret door here. Search for secret doors. Oh, yes. Oh, what? Oh. So that thing with the corners... Ah, oh, we've, we've still got to get around there. Hmm. Also, there's a tomb and the Witch Lord. This is problematic. I don't think we can kill it. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Right, come on, Git. No more running away. Oh, we've got 12. Yep, he wants to make up for it. Uh, don't step on that. That is a badness. Um. Oh, that's just... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, well. Search for treasure. Oh, why do I keep doing that? That's right. Staring contest. Nobody got hurt. We all had fun. At the end of the day, that's the important thing. Oh, bloody hell, now somebody's been hurt. Well, you, mate, are going to have to try and uh, heal yourself 
Physician, heal thyself. Right. Um, hmm. Zombie. Zombie, goodbye bye. Why do they only have that single yell? Oh, Dead by Day 1978 says, I think you enter the room, as does the real kingdom. Yes, you're right. When you enter the room with a witch lord, the level ends. Yes. And you have to go and get the sword to duff him up, don't you? Yeah. Right. Uh, what we got here? Send sleep, veil of mist, genie, tempest, courage. Genie? Reveal room contents or attack someone. That's not what I was after. Uh... You've only got one health point, mate. I don't really want you doing the health, the attacks, but you're going to anyway. And you win. You win. Good work. Right. Hmm. I beginning to wish I hadn't just walked in this room because I forgot there was a zombie in it. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, that's right. Whew. That, my friends, was a bit of a worry for a second. Right. Zombie, you're going down. Punk click every trip. And that's it. Right, just walk near the door. There's no way on God's green earth that I'm letting you search with one hit point. What stuff have you got? You do have a, a heroic brew and a potion of strength. So at least if we come up against something, you can give it a good punch. Uh, yay! We get to go outside now and run along like goodens. Treasure. Missing next go. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed to speed the game up at this moment. Go on, search for secret doors yet. I think you'd be injured doing that. And in we go. Oh yeah, that's in the turn, isn't he? <laughs> You'd think his arm would be tired by now, but apparently not. Three. Three. Great. Three. And he's got two. Did you just both trip over stones or something? Oh, for crying out loud. This week on the world's slowest adventurers. Oh, no, great. Okay, that was impressive defence, though. I'll give him that. Right. Don't worry about it. Just stand behind the barbarian. Queue up. Oh dear. No, oh wait, that was good. That was his attack. This is my attack. Hey, hey, hey. Where do that wizard never blinks? Hmm. Right. Well, looks like we're going up here. Come on, wizzy. And by come on, I mean walk faster than two bloody squares. Yeah, I thought I might as well. Don't press the treasure one. <laughs> There's got to be a secret door or something here, surely. But I'm in search for treasure. Oh, crikey. Well, that's good. Right, you've actually got enough points to actually move somewhere this time. So don't muff it up, alright? Yay! Okay, this is going quite well. Famous last words there. Ugh. <sighs> Git. My friend. Time for your amazing magics. Get the genie to duff him up. Genie attack strength two. Opponent defense strength zero. The opponent is dead. Thanks, genie. You the man. Or, or the genie, at the very least. Go on. Oh man, why are they walking so slowly? Is there like a really nice smell in the air they want to experience for longer? Well, we got 50 quid, that's something. Now he's stuck there. Great. Hang on, is this the way in? Ooh, maybe. Right. 
25 quid, nice. Um, oh, he's got 12. Uh, about bloody time too. Oh, the Heroes of Might and Magic games are Toad Elevator. I love those games. Absolutely love them. Uh, I think I'm the only person who does these days. Um, everybody else seems just to be obsessed with the third one. But I found something to enjoy in nearly all of them. I even like the fourth one, the weird isometric one. Really like them. Right. Search for things. You found no things. There were no things. Witch Lord, you have broken the magic seal which kept the Witch Lord imprisoned. You daft apeth. Now he is awake and you must run. Only the Spirit's Blade can harm him. The Witch Lord is a gargoyle? I thought the Witch, the witch Lord like, was, was the, the like evil skeleton wizard. The like, whatever they're called. Lich. That piece. So now we just have to get out again? I am confused. And uh, Uncle Yu, I loved Might and Magic uh, 10 Legacy. I have still not done the Unicorn expansion thing, though. I need to sort that out. <laughs> the Witch Lord looks like a crazy bones, as bad as he does. My god! To, to very nearly treasure level. That's uh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Bloody hell. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. 11. Do you just run before you die? Because that's probably going to happen. Uh, how much gold do you have instead? Or is the gold pooled between you all? Hmm. Oh, he's got none. Nope, that's, that's sorted that one out. Uh, a rock trap falls in the corridor, blocking the way. What? What? Where? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's not worry too much about that. Right. Oh. No, oh, Witch Lord's not doing anything. So is the idea now just to run out? Hmm. I th see, in R7, I always use the um, evil wizard. You know, the skeletal wizard piece for the Witch Lord. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? There we go. Right. Hmm. And did the Witch Lord... I'm not sure the first expansion did come with a Witch Lord figure, did it? I seem to remember the first expansion not having any new miniatures at all. Hmm. Hmm. Right. I could be completely wrong, though. It's many years ago. Many years ago. So, I think we're just going to have to run away, aren't we? Was there actually a point to this level other than waking up somebody you shouldn't be waking up? Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, bugger it. Let's just run out again. And we can search for treasure on the way. He's got a potion of speed. If there's anything these guys need, it's that. The way they've been dawdling along. Well, if you go around this way, I suppose. And immediately regret it, probably, because uh, we're not going to find a quicker way out, are we? That's surely the only... Yeah, the exit. Yeah, bugger it. Let's try and escape, guys. It's like the Fast and the Furious, except with two very slow men who sometimes walk quicker than other times. Because that's the thing. Yeah, there's no point of searching them all now on the way through, haven't I? Right. No, the Skeleton Wizard Visigur did come with the original set. Uh, no, so I'm pretty sure of that because I've got one down here. Right. Run away! We have heroically woken up an undead creature that we can't deal with and must now run away quickly. We're not very good. So he's only got one body point. Uh, the Barbarian still has five, but he can have like eight or something, can't he? And over that. There we go. I've got to say, I enjoyed Space Crusade a lot more. There's more stuff going on, do you know what I mean? There was less hoping you roll the right dice to be able to run down a corridor quickly. <clears throat> I'm 
got to say, that was a good run though, Barbarian. You did well. We appreciate it. Wizard, you're a dawdler. Mainly because of your ridiculous fake arm. Do you know what it is? I think he's got Emu from Rod Helldays on his arm. Perhaps that's why he's so effective at attacking. Uh, hang on, how did we get in here? Oh, I remember. Yeah, okay. Thank goodness there's an auto map, because I would now be so lost. It would be unbelievable. Oh, Dower Wolf on too far. Oh well, they're so quick, I'm sure it won't matter. Four. Can we get the Wizard a Mobility Scooter or something? Get Eli to lend it Crazy Lucinda, and we can uh, sort out from there. Right. Yes. Search for treasure for no reason. It's been searched before. Bums. Oh, for crying out loud. Has he got a stone in his shoe? Actually, he's going so slowly, I'm didn't expect he just had his foot cut off. You escaped the quest intact. What sort of a quest is it? What are you doing for this quest? Dunno, just going in a place? Wham, well, don't you in the place? Well, brought an evil thing back to life. Oh, right, so what was the plan then? We ran away. Well done, guys. Well, we're going to go get the sword to kill it with. Yeah, but if you hadn't woken up, you wouldn't need to kill it. Uh. Right. Immortal Absol asks, why can't I send my 300 bits? Why 500 minimum? Because uh, a person told me to do that, and they knew about Twitch. Apparently it stopped spamming or something. I don't know. I didn't really have a problem with it anyway. I might change it back. Who knows? Um, am, am I going the wrong way? Yes, yes I am. No, no I'm not. I've just confused myself. Hang on, can he cast as well? Swift Wind. Oh yeah. So the next turn, he can go speedy speedy. A powerful wind blows you're twice as far on your next turn. So I'll just roll a two, probably. Eight, so I can now go 16. Yay. No, I can still go eight. Did that mean I actually rolled a four? It was far enough. Let's not question it. Well done, heroes. Well done. If I do the bit glass thing, you encourage people to send more bits. I have no idea what you mean by that. I, I will write that down and look it up in 37 weeks' time. Um... And again, hmm. I'm not entirely sure what to make of this game. Um, it, it is very faithful to the board game. I remembered it being a little bit more, you know, a little bit less like the board game the Space Crusade was. But actually, Space Crusade has more stuff to it. This is like super bloody um, precise, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right. I tell you what, I'm going to do. Save. There was a save option, wasn't there? No, well, there's nothing here. The, gob uh, the bubber now has 215. There's not much he can do with that. And you got nothing. Because you were too ill to search most of the time. Ooh. No. Uh, save. Oh. Does that mean I have to format a data disk? Oh, no. Well, I might do that while we take a short break. But before we do that, I would like your opinions on something. I don't have another game uh, lined up to play this evening, so I'm going to take requests from the audience. Um, yeah. Is there anything specific you would like to see played, as in an old and particularly weird game? Um, preferably something 8-bit, perhaps? Because it's been quite 16-bit, this one, hasn't it? Um, yeah, if anybody can think of Doom, that's a bit obvious, mate. Everybody's seen Doom. Everybody, Oregon Trail. Oh my goodness gracious me. MP383, we did kill Joy last week, mate. Can't do it every week. Um, Night Games for the Commodore 64. There was a sequel? I remember Night Games. My god. Heroes of Might and Magic. That is something we could do at some point in the future, Dr. Torton, but that is quite a long one, so. Mm. High rank at Hugo's House of Horrors. Ooh, I'd have to remember what. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Hugo's House of Horrors. I can't remember what format this for the top man. I can look it up though. 
Continue goes as of horrors. Nightmare in the video game. No. No more nightmare. Definitely no more bloody granny's garden. <laughs> that bloody granny's garden. Oh, dear me. Oh, man. Talisman. Asked line. Oh, my God. We could. There is a ZX Spectrum version of Talisman that I got at a car boot sale many, many years ago. Uh. Strange Loop for the Commodore 64. I have not heard that. Strange Loop. C64. Interesting. Very interesting. Some good suggestions here, guys. Uh, D-Gen? Um, D-Gen's alright. We could do D-Gen one day. The Space Hoppers, the killer Space Hoppers are always amusing. Captain Planet on the Amiga. That is weird. Russia GTR. It absolutely is. Bounty Bob Strikes Back. I seem to remember absolutely loving that, if it's the game I'm thinking of. Lee Enfield for the C64. Which one? There were several Lee Enfield games, weren't there? All released under different names and stuff. Thank you, Lord Godo. Wizardry 4, when? <laughs> Wizardry Man. Never really played the Wizardry games. Um, hmm, Flunky. Oh, Flunky. Man, that's a strange game. From the guys who did Trapdoor and Gregory Loses His Clock. Which really is a game. Oh, the Wild Bunch on Spectrum. Oh, Night Trap. Oh, he wants to set that up. Oh, my God. Um, Drakana, the game you're trying to remember there, is just called Jetpack. G-J-E-T-P-A-C. Jetpack. Trap Dog was a good game. And a zero. And a fantastic cartoon. Rest in peace, Terry Brain. Bless his heart. Um... Deja Vu, oh god, the NES one. That's a heck of a thing, to say the least. Why have I just got Hero Quest left up in the background? We can, at the very least, make it go a bit quieter. Ah. And then there was no music, and everything was better on the ears. Contra on Amstrad. That would be Grisor for the Amstrad, surely. Um, it's a bloody good version. Mind you, did they rename it Contra when they released it in America? Because the arcade game was renamed Contra in America, wasn't it? Weird times, my friend. Weird times. Hmm. Yes, Flum. 8-bit uh, on a budget on Unbound. Really good book coming up from Kieran Hawken. Could do with some more backing. Um, that's something you should totally look into. Everybody Google at some point. 8-bit on a budget. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty damn good book. It looks at the best budget games for the 8-bit uh, computers. Um, you know, the ZX Spectrum and the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad CPC, and probably a bit beyond, even. Hmm. Sooty games, Andy B96. They were sooty games. My God. Cow Postman Jizzle. I still can't find a bloody copy of it. My friend is convinced he's got it in his attic, so we're going to have a look at that at one stage. But um, we'll say his attic, his parents' attic. Um, but they moved house, and they're bloody miles away, and everything's in, like in plastic boxes and have been for like 15 years or something. Um, there was not a stop it and tidy up game at <laughs> zero, tragically. But um, that is a shame. Nobby the Aardvark on C64. Oh, that was, was that a Thalamus game? A very impressive one, if I remember. Forbidden Forest for the C64. That, that was a thing, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Forbidden Forest. Count Duckula 2. Yeah, thanks, Mensky. That's just what I need in my life right now. Although it is something we do need to show people the gameplay of at one stage. Oh, you tempted me now. You have tempted me. Oh, dear. I mean, we could play the Spectrum version, or even the Commodore 64 version, which is almost playable. Almost. Stunt Car Racer on Spectrum ZX guess. Oh, I'd have to play the ST version. It's the best one. What an amazing game that is. Karnov, man, the Yunas. That is a strange game, yes. Um, we are some sort of bald Russian gentleman who runs around with his top off, breathing fire. He was also uh, in one of the fight early fighting games in the arcade. In fact, one of, them, one of them was called Karnov's Revenge first, wasn't it? Was it Fire's History or something? Oh, I don't know. All those games have kind of um, formed a mass in my mind, and I cannot pull them apart. I forget which ones are which, and which name is which, and what's doing what, and all that kind of stuff. Terraforming for PC Engine. I have not played that. That sounds really good. Um, I like a bit of PC Engine. Terraforming. Excellent. Right. We have plenty to be going on with here. Captain America and the Doom Tube on 64. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my God. There was a worse one, though, wasn't there? I forget the name of it, the one that had Spider-Man in as well. That was a different game. Even worse. Oh, I bought that for Spectrum. 
So bad. So bad. Dan did the game, Anzu. That was a great game. Uh, really, really good. Fights History 2 was Carnival's Revenge. Oh, I did get it right. That looks strange. Oh, man. Uncle, you little computer people. The first game I ever bought for my Atari ST, and I still have it now. Uh, I feel it would be a bit dull to stream, so we'll totally be playing that later. Um, oh, man. We could do Little Computer People. The problem is, if I remember at the start of Little Computer People, um, you have to wait ages for a person to move in. But I could actually image my disc right, from <laughs> that I haven't loaded up in like 15, 20 years or something, and um, <laughs> oh man and actually play with Milton, as his name was, the little fella there right, uh, I am going to go off and grab a drink shortly and set up for a different game later um, you've given me some good recommendations there, so that is certainly a thing that's going to happen hmm Hmm. Hugo's House of Horrors, maybe. Hmm. We shall see. Right. Let's go quiet shortly, and we'll be back soon, friends. Don't go changing, which was a song. Hero Quest. Deep inside another dimension, face battling barbarians and evil magic on a quest for adventure in a maze of monsters. This is Hero Quest, the fantasy adventure game where winning means mastering the arts of combat. I'll use my broom sword. And magic. Fire of wrath. Once you get into it, you'll never be the same. Hero Quest. Now with two new adventure packs, the legend grows. The legend grows! <clears throat> By which I mean, give us some more money for some of the miniatures you already have, because we won't release more interesting ones until later! Yes, there we are. That was the infamous, uh, su surprisingly infamous, actually, Hero Quest advert. Broad sold. Broad sold. So, uh, I've been trying to get Strange Loop to run on the Commodore 64, and I cannot find a version which works. And I found this quite disappointing, because I really wanted to see what this was. Um, I have one more version I can potentially try, but basically, I think we should play some Commodore 64 games from now on, until the end of this very stream. Um, mainly because, I've just remembered, I haven't got the... Uh, I've changed computers recently, and I haven't installed the Spectre emulator yet, like an idiot. So, um... As the C64 one just runs from a directory, that's not a problem. In fact, they all do, basically, except a couple of the BBC Micro ones. BBM, I think, needs installing. And, yeah, Spectaculator, which is an amazing emulator. Um, right. Come on, a 64 games. Have a think. Flimbo's Quest. Oh, man. Special Operations on Commodore 64. That is interesting. Where my name is there. Brian Bloodaxe. Remember that on the Spectrum. There's a Faulty Towers text adventure. Oh my god. Special Operations. That is tempting. Make a note of that. Special Operations. Uh, there was an adaptation of the Prison TV show for the Apple II. You are correct. Uh, not just released on the Apple II, if I recall. But yeah, that's one of those things that comes around every so often. Um, oh man, the music from Deflector Mensky. Now that is a goddamn thing. I think we should try Special Operations, actually. Quite uh, tempted by that. Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. That was a very good Scotland 64 version. But a lot of those do suffer from having um, the sort of 16 bit versions existing at the same time. And, you know, oh, big trouble in Little China. Whew. Whew. And again, whew, what, what a thing that was. Right, I'm going to try old Strange Loop again. I have multiple versions of every game, because uh, I hoard ROMs and uh, disc images and tape images and stuff, because I reckon one day they'll disappear from the internet. And when that happens, I want to have them all, just in case. Oop, new version of Strange Loop. Something's happening. Hmm. When I say something's happening, but not anything actually useful. Nope, that's crashed as well. This is very odd. I just cannot get anything that will actually run it. Every emulator crashes with it. Very strange. Very strange. How about this version? Nope, that's just crashed but in a different way. 
<laughs> Absolutely astonishing. Um, yeah, sorry, man. I don't know what it is about Strange. I may have to uh, do some research into that. I would really like to play it because I'm genuinely interested to see uh, what the game is because I've never heard of it. Um, I could look it up. But that would be cheatings. Um, I'll tell you what I could do, actually. I'll bet you there might be a third image in here. <laughs> no, there isn't. Well, that's annoying. There's not much we can say to that. Hang on, this emulator's crashing when I try and do anything. Hang on. I think the problem lies in the emulator. That's very odd. I've never had that before. Dear me. Oh, Spy versus Spy 2, the island caper. My God. Iridium Plus, yeah, quality. Absolutely quality. I played a very recent Commodore 64 game, because people are still making them. Uh, I think, I can't remember what it was called, but you basically played a... Um, Oh, God, I can't think of the name of it. One of those music box things where you have to uh, just rotate and wheel. A barrel organ, that's it. And then occasionally control the monkey that had to get uh, money that was being dropped in a hat. And I'll tell you what, it was an experience. You kind of have to play it with a joystick, though, so you have to move the joystick around in a circle. But, yeah, that certainly was a thing that exists and is certainly worth a bit of a laugh if um, you have time to play old Commodore 64 games and particularly want to play one where you make a music box go round repeatedly. Right, let's get jump back into this. I am desperate now for a bit of Commodore 64 joy. We can make this happen. I'm at least 30% sure we can make this happen. <laughs> right. I'm loaded slightly different Commodore emulator. And, well, it's, it's got 64k of system RAM, apparently. That sounds good, doesn't it? That's what you want in life. Um, right. Strange loop. I've got to go into the horrifying directory of emulators. Uh, in fact, it's entirely on a separate disk, thinking about it. Right. No, 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 no. I want to be in... Oh, here we are. Right. What, you are kidding me? Uncle Yu is saying that David Cage, the guy who did Fahrenheit, Beyond Two Souls, Detroit, etc., his favourite game is Rick Dangerous. Crappy memory test Rick Dangerous that did have cool graphics and all that. Hmm. Mensky, mate, I am not loading the tape version of Sanctuary in a real time. My God, imagine that. Um, right, come on, 64. And strange loop. Do, 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 strange loop. Oops, something's happening this time. Oh, yeah. I think, my friends, we may have ourselves a strange loop. Right. Let's get this up and running again. Oh, oh, oh. oh well, which I mean, let's make the screen go black, because why the devil not? And... Oh. You know how I said it was working? Well... Oh, it's this really annoying thing, but it always shows you the uh, status panel on Commodore 64, doesn't it? Go on. Yep, I've made the screen go brown, so that's good. Now it's gone grey. Oh, no, it's like that. See, this is what kept happening before. You just get this kind of... Is this actually a strange loop? <laughs> is this all the game is? Hang on, don't tell me this actually is. What the thing? Hang right, right. This looks like a job for a little bit of research. To Lemon sixty four, the premier corner uh, sixty four site. Strange loop. No, Strange Loop is a game. It's totally a game. It was quite interesting, actually. No, cannot get it to work, mate. Cannot get it to work. What a shame. What an extreme shame. Oh well. Oh well. And again. Oh well. Um, unless maybe... Tell you what. 
let's check for a very obscure form of image. It's got a little man with a jetpack in. I mean, what is not to like about that? Strange loop. Right. Last time. Last try. Nope. That doesn't work either. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> the curse of strange loop. <laughs> you nobody must ever play this game. Has anybody got like a weird... Uh... No. Sometimes if you're lucky you can find these sort of memory dumps they've done which just um, automatically load and uh, aren't any problems and all that kind of thing. Oh, hang on. I've got a bigger director of those than I thought, actually. Wait for it. And you really will have to wait for it because this is a massive directory. Uh, oh, Stiff Lip and Co. Good God, there was a game. Right. Something's happening. I'm not entirely convinced by it, but something is happening. It's doing this again. Hmm. This is the best I can get out of Strange Loop. Yeah, I don't think this is really working too well. Go on, I've got one final version I can try, but uh, I don't think it's going to work at all. Oh, that is such a shame. I'm mildly obsessed with playing it now, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Go on. No. Yay! This program is known as the Curse of Dixons. Right. That was a bit naff. Right. I think we should try Special Operations. Break in ten. Right. Special Operations, please. That would be amazing. Oh god, there's so many games called Space. Or the uh, or with space at the start for the Commodore 64, it is quite unbelievable. Here we are, special operations. Lothlorien. Ooh, they were they were a good company. What? Why is nothing working? What has happened? What has happened to the joy of the Commodore 64? Let me try a different version again, because you know we apparently haven't tried enough yet. Good God. Right. Disk file, these always work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is very odd. Oh great, this this doesn't have that version. Uh, uh, T sixty four files, they're usually fairly resilient. Special operations. Come on, come on, come on. Can anybody suggest a game that does work? Um Hey, hey. Mrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
something's going on. Uh, uh, uh. Windvice does support zip, but only through the file dialog, so I do need to unzip it. Right. That is something we can totally do. While we do this, I've got a plan, and the plan involves destroying reality with a magic laser beam. But that is not something we can do today. Um, while this is going on, feel free to ask any questions you may have about Ashens and associated acts. <clears throat> I might just load up a newer version of Windvice, actually. Bup, bup, bup. Oh man, Defender of the Crown, Coda 227. Do you know, that's not a game I've actually played that often, but um, I do remember rather enjoying it. E. Um, I forgot the graphics on that man at the time, especially, was like super impressive, to say the least. This does accurately reflect the frustration of non-loading games in the C64, Sir Hillary Manfat. You are absolutely correct, to say the least. Oh, dear me. Any chance of more old sequelizers episodes making it to YouTube? Uh, probably not, no. Um, we've put the latest series up, but... Um yeah, I can't see much value in putting the old ones up. To be honest, uh, it's not done well on the channel. It's uh, it, Nobody's really watching it, and loads of people unsubscribe when they see it come up every week. So, um, well, that was the extra channel. That doesn't really matter. But uh, the fact remains, it's not proven useful particularly. Um... The Bunbury42 says, I've always felt that Eli would smell funny and be slightly sticky. Is this true? No, no, this is not true. His uh, personal hygiene is very, very impressive. He is perfectly fine. He is a clean man, but I understand that uh, you perhaps would not expect that from Barshans. <laughs> What is my favourite type of video to do? Asks Warrior 9131. Uh, bootleg food, blind bag, etc. It depends what I feel like at the time. It really, really does. Um, yeah, I just feel... Uh, Whenever I feel like on the day, which is usually what I end up recording, frankly, um, which is why I very rarely do any videos actually fit together with any sort of schedule or anything going on in the real world or the release dates of movies and anything like that because yeah why do I think the world's sharpest knife is such a popular video blue t-shirt guy I have no idea mate we genuinely don't know I should probably look into it one day but oh thank you deepest blue dragon 500 oh rest in peace Carl yeah That was the moment of silence. Oh, poor old Carl. Uh, I've moved the bit minimum back down to 200, by the way. Uh, yeah, that didn't seem to actually be particularly useful to be higher. Don't understand it myself. It's all new to me, like. Right. So I've got a plan. And that plan involves... Strange loop. No, maybe. Go on, I'm going to give this one more go and probably hideously regret it. Have a thought of eating some bootleg foods like that bootleg Mario pasta or Sonic pickles, Uncle Hugh. Well, um, maybe um, if I if I came across them, I totally totally would, um, without question. But it's not the sort of thing I generally uh, get hold of, really, due to the whole uh, not sold over here type thing. Can I do a Del Boy voice? Oh, I can't, oh man, I can't think how Del Boy goes off the top. Is it that sort of Cushy Rodney and all that kind of stuff? Uh, no, I would. I would need to listen to some and then do some practice probably before I could do a decent Del Boy. That is not in my repertoire of voices, to say the least. 
Mm. So Shadow of Bacon asks a good question. Were Paul and Eli, from Martians, once the same person, but somehow split into two opposing forces? We have wondered that on various occasions. Um, but we do lack any scientific evidence to back up that theory. So at the moment it remains a hypothesis, but who knows? One day, when the Large Hadron Collider is on, and they get some weird results and a picture of Eli pops up on their monitors, we may know the truth. Ashens, what is the weirdest game you have ever played? Hmm. Man. That's... Ooh, <laughs> defined... What's your definition of weird? Um... Hmm. One that always springs to mind is there's a, a dream simulator called LSD. Yeah, dream simulator for the f uh, PlayStation One, the first PlayStation. And I tell you what, it's a hell of a thing. It's a very, very strange thing. It's not really a, a game, kind of. I don't know. Work time fun. WTF, yeah, again for the uh, Sony PSP is pretty damn strange as well. That's more to do with the sort of game mechanics, anything. It's like a kind of... Um, uh, like a sort of weird extended version of WarioWare? Kind of? It's a very hard game to describe. But the point is that most of the games in it are deliberately tedious. It's a very odd one. A very, very odd one. Caitlin Sculpts asks, do you think Poundworld are going to have a closing down sale? Just how low can those prices drop? That is a good question. Do you think... I mean, they have had stuff for 50p in there. Or have they? Hmm. Thank you for subscribing, Brillo Scuba. Yeah. Not entirely sure, actually. Hmm. Because I'm thinking Poundland have actually knocked stuff out for 50p when it's old stock and that kind of stuff. That is totally a thing that's happened. But um, not so sure about good old um, Pound World. Maybe it will... Oh, have I played Mugen, Punished G? Of course. But um, Mugen has now mutated into like a giant thing with all the characters who have ever lived. And all the people who have ever lived and will ever live are uh, all together at last, to fight. <laughs> What's that? Is it... Um, I forget the name of the site where you can uh, sort of pretend bet on uh, who's going to win a massive Mugen match with just different characters from everything in Salty Bet or something like that. Oh, man, that's a weird one. Wally Russ 10 wants to get a block of cheese for 50 pence. I, I, can we have a round of applause, please? Sonic7600 asks, is there any new movies you are starring in the pipeline or a sequence of the sequel of the Game Child movie? Ah, uh, yeah, man. Sequel. Work on it starting soon. Um, Going to have the crowdfunding campaign beginning in a week or two. Well, a few weeks, actually, I should imagine. Yeah. Mm, man. Movies. So Hilary Manfad asks, did you ever play Midwinter on the ST or Amiga? No, but I extensively played Midwinter 2, The Flames of Freedom. Um, I've never, yeah, never played the first Midwinter. We never had it. Mm. Not that I can remember, anyway. Mm. Nah, I'd definitely remember it. It's one of those things I would remember using my brain. I remember seeing screenshots of it quite a lot because it's very well thought of, to say the least. Have I played Eldritch Horror, the board game? HTC Sync Manager. <laughs> Amazing name. Uh, which one is that? Is that the Elder Signs one? Mm, I, I don't think I've played that specific one, but there's quite a few sort of Cthulhu Mythos stuff going on around. So, mm, yeah, I can't say for sure, frankly. I can't say for sure, but probably not is the answer to that. I have never played Heat Seeker for the C64, Warrior 9131. That is possibly something we can have a look at if I can get anything up and bloody running. Um, actually, I should get back onto that. I've just been answering questions and going, ooh, that's interesting. Um, right, where's the directory that I was going to copy everything into? That's quite important. I don't know which directory it was. 
Oh, they've all changed because of new computers. Right. Oh, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, Flam. Now that, that was a game. Ah! Pietor Holborn asks, or Holborn even, have you played the other Heroes Quest by Sierra? So that's interesting. Uh, Sierra, they are of the sort of point-and-click style adventures. Well, usually you'd move around with the arrow keys and then type when you reach things. Like Leisure Suit Larry, that kind of thing. Had a um, series of games called Hero Quest or Heroes Quest, but um, they were basically forced to change the name. So it became something like Quest for success or quest foods i can't even remember what it was called actually um but no i'm really not a fan of the old sierra games i find them immensely unbelievably fiddly to say the least um they're not i mean they're i tell you what i remember a friend trying to play bloody police quest for the amiga terrible graphics they were just like the old um dos ones and it, you just died constantly if you forgot to do any tiny minutiae of the police routine. Any small error resulted in instant game over. If you parked the car and then forgot to check all the tyres before you drove off again or something, a tyre would burst. And that's the end of the game. And it was just like that all the bloody time. And it was very, very... Quest for Glory. Yes, called Quest for Glory, that's it. That's the Hero Quest game, not Police Quest. They did not change Police Quest to Quest for Glory. That would be very strange indeed. Right. Dum -dum -bum 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 is the noise we make because let us try to see if finally we can get Strange Loop a work in. Oh, yeah. Uh, that doesn't involve remembering where I just put it. Brilliant. I'm not used to this yet. Here we go. This looks good. Right. If this isn't the best game ever, I will weep for a month. <gasps> I think it's loading! Oh my goodness, guys. I'm, I'm going to go over to it. Ooh. No, it's not. Oh yeah, because uh, XSplit is an evil thing. Boy. Oh, look at this. we got some loading going on. We're decompressing it into memory. At the very least. And I'm gonna just activate warp mode. Man. The joys of tape emulation. I've never played Psychic Detective on the PS1, Chaotic Joker. That's an interesting one. Oh, here we go. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bow. Right, I've got the controls working. Marvellous. Normal play. JS move and fire. Space for pockets. Oh, joystick. So you around. Move cursor. Fire. Use object. Right. Then let us begin. Welcome to the machine. Oh. There's no sound. Is there supposed to be sound? Hmm. Maybe I'll put the. Uh... Let's try it now. No, there is no sound. That's weird. Whoop, whoop. Hey! There is sound now. Well, I shot some things. This little guy bounces quite a lot. And I'm guessing it's bad news to step on the boiling grey stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, oh, well, let's put him back there. Great. Um, oh, hang on. I want to go into pockets mode. No, doesn't. Oh, here we are. Oh, literally pocket. Exit jet cycle. Well, that was weird. Oh god, I bounced off a wall or something. I think they're trying to emulate low gravity, but it's just really confusing and difficult to play. Damn you, geometric shapes! I'm out of bullets or something. No, he's firing again now. What is going on? This is an odd one. Yeah, so Hilary Manfat says this game has one ninety nine written all over it. You are bloody right, mate. Oh, now we've got a conveyor belt. Since I've got some sort of jetpack. Yay! No. Shoot! Stop turning around. You're rubbish. I hate you. No, no, I'm to... What is going on, like? This is a bit bloody rubbish. Um very slow turning animation as well. Looks pretty, but ooh. Go on. 
Yes. It's, there's another enemy stuck in the ceiling, look. Bloody hell. Can I go down one of these pipes, like in Mario Brothers? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, can't go down any further, though. Okay, let's go across here. Man, there's a lot of geometric shapes to kill down there. Oh, I've picked something up. But what have I picked up? Oh, nothing. Okay. That was just some sort of oxygen replenishment or something. I don't know. I haven't been keeping an eye on it, to be honest. Uh, jump off! Yay! Right. Straight through. No, don't bounce off the walls at high speed. That does not help anybody. Whoop. Hey. Go on, go on. Run! Yay. Oh, what? This is a dead end. <sighs> Seriously, guys, what is the uh, deal with this? This is not... Uh, uh. Thank you for subscribing, Guchion. Clearly, you have enjoyed this game so much. <laughs> oh, stop bouncing everywhere! Oh, man, I'm going to shoot these tubes. These tubes will have been shot. No, I... Shoot the tube, damn you. No, he's not shooting anymore now. Oh, yeah, now he's shooting again. He just kind of shoots occasionally if he really feels like it, and then bounces off a wall. And then, uh, yeah, what is, what is going on? Oh, my goodness. Thank God for that. Oh, no, he's back again. Oh, boy. Oh, well, he's been going up here. Right. Run away. Run away. Can we go up these tubes? Yes. Ooh, let's get out of here. There's an F. I reckon that's some fuel. Ooh, right, we've got to be up tall to get up there. Oh, no. Blimey. No, stop bouncing around, you... Ugh. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I'm running out of patches. What does that mean? Is it patches from uh, Dark Souls? That'd be slightly worrying. Or something. Ah, there we are. We got through. Run again. Danger. Low pressure area. Go no further. I've got a space suit. I'll be fine. Oh, I'm not allowed to go through. That's good. Thank you, Plate Face 1998. Man, this this is a game. Oh, man, this is annoying. This is one of those games you have to spend like half your life trying to work out how to control. Hooray! <laughs> I picked a thing up. There's a fish down there. Oh, God, it's a red herring, isn't it? Oh, 8-bit games love to pull this shit. Yeah, literally red herring. Uh, no, now I'm stuck. Because, uh, hold on, I'm stuck in the. Uh, way, bodoing, bodoing. No. Bodoing. Oh, great. What's the point going through here? What? Ah, right, some more stuff here. It's really hard to shoot these little geometric shapes, as you probably noticed. Ooh, just resisted dead end again. Oh man, this is like distressingly poor. Um, I feel like there's a game in here somewhere, but uh, they've done a good job of hiding it away. Whoop! No. Yay! I'm trying to think of other games where you float around in zero gravity. Tintin in space. Uh, murders in space. Basically, any game in space in the cell. No, this seems to be some sort of dead end again. Who designed these rooms? And why are they allowed back in the community afterwards? Right. No, 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 other way. Run right away. No. No! Oh, just go up. <laughs> no, it doesn't want to do that anymore now. We're on, we're on the uh, conveyor belts of death again. Can we go up this tube? No. Can we go down this tube? Not really. Oh, no. I didn't want to go down. Do there we are. We can go up from here. Oh, man. 
Fuel! There is a thing. Get, get the thing. Yay. Then the thing will have been got. Fancy thing. No, nope, that's uh, not shooting at all. Yay! Now shoot again. Collision detection, not 100%. Or even like 70%, really. Um, yeah, as you say, Gucci, on that, this game existing in the same world as Exile is, is bad news, really. Come on. Let's go up here. Oh, what's to the left? More geometric shapes. Probably could have guessed that. I wonder why it's called Strange Loop. Interesting title. Right, I'm going to see if I can get up to the... Uh, oop, oxygen runs out quickly there. No! Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, we've got up here now. That's interesting. Oh, they're really trying... Thank you, Lord Chaos Longshot. They're really trying to... Um, get the zero gravity thing working, but it doesn't really make any sense with physics. I think you'd have to kind of learn how it responds to stuff. Go! Cool. No! I'm going to go through there one way or another. There we are. Hoop! Ah! No. Hoop! No. Hoop! Yay! And we're back in the room right from the start! Oh. Oh, go on up top. Welcome to the machine. Thanks. That's uh, very kind of you. Uh, I appreciate it, and I look forward to my time here. <laughs> it took him like a month to fall. Oh dear me. Well, I would like to play the game to his end, and I'm going to do that by dissolving him. Because we must be adults at all times. Well, hmm. I have played much worse, worse games. I mean, it's not like anywhere near a ten contender for terrible old games or anything. It's even within a hundred feet of that. But yeah, it's not the greatest. Not the greatest. I reckon you could have some fun with that if you don't have much else and you didn't pay much money for it. I would have thought. But um, yeah, that's not a thing that I would ever play again if I had any say in it. Right, I'm going to try special operations now. Because I hear they've got operations in, and they're quite special. And, frankly, if that doesn't float your boat, what will? Go on. Special operations. There we are. And now, let's see what happens, like. Yep, working a lot better now. Oh god, I've just realised it'll take a week to load on it. Let's use the emulator speed up function. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh. Nope. It appears to just be stuck on <laughs> stuck on a pink screen and not loading at all. Oh Po. Macronshow.com. Woo. There we are. We've said that now. Um, special. All oh right. Here's another version. Let's try this one. Bum, bum, bum. Right. T64 file. These are usually pretty good. Ah. Later on, she put little computer people in on the C64 and just leave it streaming or the little man slowly dies. Oh. 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 Now we're talking. This is too bright. What has happened? Hang on. What's going on here, like? How do we change the... Uh, is, is there a brightness setting or something? Because it seems to have gone a little bit loopy. Hmm. That's all normal, that's all normal, that's all normal. 
and so on. Oh no, it's gone into an awful CRT emulation option. No! Hmm, this does seem very, very light to me. Hmm. Oh well. We can live with it, one supposes. This is an aerial photograph of the enemy compound. Looks like, they literally just use grey for the background. Why would a human do that? Right. So this is an aerial photograph. Going to be honest, I think there might be something wrong with your camera, guys. Yes, as uh, it's been pointed out by Chaos Emerald D85, they've captured some tetrominoes from the Game Boy version of Tetris. Right. Continue a save game. No, we will never do that. Your objective, one. Time limit, uh, five. Oh, man. Et Galaxton or whatever's. I have played Captive. We used to play Captive for hours and hours. Uh, amazing game. Hmm. Now it's a bit green. Special operations applicants. Oh, my God. Days to go eight. Which applicant? Uh, it looks like we need a leader and a strong man. Let's have a leader. Nope, nothing happens. Perhaps we've got a leader. Uh, you always need an acrobat, obviously. Uh, so I'll interview for an acrobat. Uh, select what? Acrobat interrogate what? Hmm, not understanding the uh, system here. A midget? What? That doesn't even mean anything medically. Well, a uh, sapper, scout, sniper. Insurance forger. A forger. A cipher. A chemist. Let's have a chemist. Let's interview the chemist. The chemist is a doctor. Okay, well, he sounds good. Well, let's have him. <laughs> ah, so he's, a, he's a, both a chemist and a doctor. Right. So everybody is at least two things. How intriguing. Um, can we have a pickpocket? That sounds useful. Or a pilot, in case we find a magic, magic plane. He's a pilot and a pickpocket. I mean, I mean that's perfect. Uh, go on then, locksmith. A locksmith. A locksmith who's good at unarmed combat. He just jabs him with his lockpicks. Perfect. Uh... Yep, going to have him. Uh, photographer doesn't sound particularly useful, but you never know. Explosives. Uh, exploding stuff is usually quite good. Please study your team. You study your team, you cheeky bugger. Hang on a minute. Um, oh. Perhaps I should have studied them more. Action! Ooh. Leestra, Acker, Int, Chi... Oh, these are the people. Right, leader, strongman, acrobat, and... Uh, yep, yeah, right, gotcha. Hmm. Hmm. Action. So what do we press here? C go. <laughs> <laughs> Northwest. Uh, down. <laughs> Um, hmm. This is a game you need a manual for, isn't it? Um, hmm. Hmm. So I, I've got to put in a two letter code. <laughs> Etixton says On our school bus, we were allowed to play cassette music tapes on the way home. And one day, so we passed the driver an old Commodore's games tape. Thank God it wasn't a Spectrum one, imagine that. Scree! Broad sword. Well, 2A, yeah, let's try that. Oh, no, you can't put in numbers, it's just letters. So we need a two letter code. Hello for locksmith, no. No. <gasps> SE was C. There's nothing you cannot see. What? What? That's, that's weirdly um, philosophical. Oh, action. Ding. 
Um, 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 I'm just gonna move the Windows cursor over it. Um, JC. Right, let's try that. No. LJ. Leroy Jenkins. No. Take. Oh, there's nothing worth taking. Right, we found C and take. So that's something. Um, o for move. No. Uh, or MV. Ah, oh, good shout, Namcos. No. Yeah. Left. Nope. Northwest. No. North. Mm. Oh, something like that one. Oh, did we move? South. No, we didn't. Uh, WN for walk north. No. Hmm. Up. DR just literally typing in stuff from chat now. Well, we found C and take. Look. Oh, no, we did that, didn't we? Oh, no, that was. Uh, uh, DR. It's like. What? <sighs> right. Bum holes to this. I'm going to go. And I am going to do what we in the trade call look the game up and see if I can find the manual for it. Because this is quite a problem. We're just going to be here for the rest of our lives going shling, flong, blong, chink, blah, blong, blong. Uh, good God, there's a game of Seaside Special. Why has this been allowed? Right, Special Operations. Check Game Base 64. No. <laughs> Nobody's got information about how to play the damn thing. Oh, but I have found a screenshot, and yes, it was supposed to be that light grey. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we're going to be able to work this one out. Due to the whole not having a list of all the bloody commands thing going on. Oh, hang on. Hang on, Namco's has found some stuff. Move north, south, east, west is you put an M for. So MN is move north. Right, let's try that. Nope, nothing kind of happened. Or did it? Yes, it did. But it didn't happen immediately. This is very odd. Very odd. SU, skill use. Okay. Out, uh, right. My god. Skill cancel, right. Found a world of spectrum. Ah, of course. Should have thought there was a spectrum version. Move east. I wonder what our mission is. It didn't actually tell us that. Oh, oh no! No, no! Move south. Yay! Enter. No. Bugger. How do we go in, Namcos? <laughs> In, there we are. Right. The door is locked. Ah, right. We had... Wasn't the pilot also a pickpocket? Actually, pickpocket is listed. Skill use. Skill to use. Pick. Bloody hell. That's, that's wrong, isn't it? Skill cancel. I've messed that one up. Uh... Right. Skill use. We want the lock pick. Yay! We got in a house. Inside the house there are some squares. Amazing. <laughs> Do you know... This is one of those games that's so fucking obtuse and stupidly designed. But, but I reckon once you... This is one of those games, once you get into it, I could have seen me actually spending bloody ages with this on an 8-bit. And then getting so far and then just not knowing what was going on. There's nothing in this house, is there? Out! Bloody hell. Well, that's that's genuinely interesting, but it has the most bizarre system for moving around and doing stuff I think I have ever come across. My God. What, what a thing that was. And when I say a thing, 
I don't necessarily mean a good thing. Right, I'm going to try Heat Seeker now, uh, which is a game I've definitely heard of, but uh, I cannot think for the life of me what it is. Was it a shoot 'em up y thing? That's, it sounds like something that would be a shoot 'em up. Heat Seeker. It wasn't a Thalamus game, was it? Oh, well, we shall find out. Using the power of emulation. Heat Seeker. Oh, use joystick and button to select novice intermediate expert. Well, novice, I've never played it before. Oh, joystick and button. Sorry, I wasn't listening. The players won. It's fine to begin. Good. Oh my god, if this is Thalamus. It's an early Thalamus. Shit. So. So. <laughs> What is going on here? The joystick doesn't seem to do anything. You can oh, here we are. Ah, da -da 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 oh. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> this. <laughs> this is the. Oh, God. No. This is a very strangely controlling game. We used to play games like this quite a lot. Um. Usually things like air-to-air -air combat on the Atari ST, where you have two people. Work. Yay! Oh, play again. Yes, I will play this for the rest of my life. That was novice. Bloody hell! That didn't work too well. Can we fly upside down the other way? Oh. Yes. I like the way it has to fly upside down when you go the other way. That's amazing. Oh no. Ah, oh, jump, jump. Man. This is one of those games that takes about a week to get used to the graphy controls, I think. But once you do, uh, you'll probably regret playing it. No. Oh! Nope, Tets the Played, Played even. We don't need to slow down processing speed. This is at 100% of the C64. That is how the game is supposed to be played. Wow, that uh, was interesting. <laughs> it's quite good fun in a bizarre way. But man, that's a bit, uh, mm, yes, a little bit crazy, you could say. Um, I'm going to try Gumshoe now, because somebody has suggested Gumshoe. So why the devil not? Oh, it's from A and F Software. Oh, I remember A and F Software. Right, what to start the gun shoe? Here we go. And now we can set its horrifying warp speeds. That didn't work. Oh, here we are. Gum shoe. I honestly thought that woman was in his shoe for a second because I had shoe in my head from the top. I thought there was a tiny woman in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Right, processor is back down to 100%. Let's just see what we're doing. Um, pull joystick down for instructions. That sounds like a plan. You are Gumshoe, a private investigator who has been hired by a millionaire to rescue his daughter, who has been taken hostage by a gang of gruesome baddies. They're not particularly gruesome, they just got their million hats. Oh, bugger, I've just pressed the button by accident. Oh, start again. Um, they're going gruesome ladies. While trying to rescue the girl, you have to avoid the bullets. Generally a good thing to do in life. That are being fired at you by the baddies. To do this, you can either duck or fall through a trapdoor by pulling down on your pants. No, on the joystick. Lift sliders and escalators can also be used to escape the evil clutches of the baddies. By the way, when the lifts are moving, you cannot fire as the lift doors close behind you. If you get caught by a baddie, then you have to fight with him. But be careful. Because you only have a 50-50 chance of winning. Ooh. Falling down more than two floors proves to be fatal, but there is another option. If you wish to descend quickly, you can stand in front of a chute and push the joystick up. Right, I've forgotten all this already. Let's go. Oh man, hint of elevator action. Or the absolutely grotesque license to kill. For the uh, Oh, bloody hell. Well... I'm going to be honest, Gumshoe, you didn't do too well. I will just mention before I forget, I did save the uh, characters from Hero Quest so they can be brought back at a later date. 
Oh, this is more like it. Oh, look at that. Classic C64 climbing action. Oh, bugger. Ah! Oh, get him! Get him! You did not get him. Hmm. Right. I've got to say, I'm, I'm pretty sure this isn't actually how private detectives used to work. Just sort of run around murdering lots of uh, Bond villain henchman esque people. Whoa! Yay! I beat that one up somehow. Gumshoe, he'll kill you dead. Gumshoe, he'll shoot you in the head. I don't really see what this has to do with gumshoes. Right. Damn it, I wanted to go up those stairs, but I've just realised that they are clearly an escalator going down. Nope, he, he went up. Or if he went up, I want to go up. Oh, it's going down. Oh, do you just have to wait? Nope. I am now confused. Oh, here we go. Do 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 do. Whoa! Boy, it's got very elevator action. There, can you go in the doors? No, you can't. <laughs> Just do some push-ups while we like, wait. Yeah, man, it's good to get your cardio going. Okay, this lift is taking too long to come back already. Up to, up to, up to. Oh dear. We have no control over this. I'm just going to go towards the top, I think. You want to make a profit, so shoot. Oh, your bullets cost money! <laughs> just like real bullets. Um, I don't know. I just want to skip to the end and see what happens, really. I'm not too worried about making money on this mission. Whoa. All of that. Run, 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 run. Yeah, no bottoms. Oh, <laughs> uh... right. Oh, no, 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 no. He wasn't going to win unless it's too good. Nope, you can't go through the doors, so you're right about Oh, bloody. No! Ah, oh, bloody hell! Slightly sluggish controls, as you would expect. Right, start again. Can, how, can we actually get to the bloody top? Oh, no. Oh. Gumshoe, the mass murderer. These are actually just custodians, so this is like a university or something. Um... Was there a ladder up here? Nope. Literally a window. This isn't that bad game. I like the walking animations and things. What are those uh, weird things? Well, at the top are supposed to be. That's all. You see that sort of blue thing? It's supposed to be a window or something? Whoa! Somebody's looking at the window. Bang. I've got to say, I do prefer elevator action returns. That's an amazing game. I do prefer elevator action, actually. That is a really good game. Had decent home versions as well, if I recall. <laughs> right. Enough for the lift to come up. Whoa! And preferably don't fall to a death this time. I felt that <laughs> impeded our progress slightly. In we go. No. Yes. Oh, bugger. Oh, no! Can you fall one level without dying? I really want to go up that conveyor belt. Uh, I'm going to risk it. I was a fool. <laughs> uh, dearie me. Uh, right, come on. Oh, I've got to wait for the es uh, escalator there to turn. That was odd. 
So he was just stunned by the fall, presumably. Oh! No! Oh! Bloody started going at the conveyor belt, it turned around and pushed me into a bullet. <sighs> oh, dearie me. What what a time was that. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well, it's nearly time to end this stream. And what a stream it's been. It's been a stream of trying to get a load of C64 games to work. And then playing the most obtuse ones we couldn't get our heads around possible. But we did have quite a bit of uh, Hero Quest played in the world's smallest window earlier. Oh, dear. Jerry the germ goes body popping for the C64. Go on then, Warrior 9131. Let's, let's have a quick bash at that before we disappear. Jerry the germ. Oh, it's a Firebird game. No! It's a bit unfair. There were quite a few good Firebird, uh, Firebird games. But there were also quite a few that weren't. Um, Jerry the germ. He's a germ of some type. Right. It's a good thing it has this 4,000% uh, uh, speedy thing, isn't it? Loading Jerry the Germ goes body popping. Oh, look at this. Shocking up the Amstrad. Never did play it. Amazing. Anyway, start game. Ooh. Okay, this is odd. Right, I am Jerry the Germ. Wandering around on the left there. Or you can just walk around all over the screen. I thought you were stuck to the pipes or something. Are these antibodies I've got to avoid? Are we supposed to be in the lungs? Is that, uh... Is that the bellows thing? Oh no! <laughs> what the? What is going on? I got killed or something and transported to Rowboat Simulator. This is very odd. Can't go up or down. Oh, hang on, it's some bog roll. Hang on, this seems to be raising the sea level. That seems to be a good thing. Nope, I'm dead. No, I'm back here. Okay, that was odd. Oh, we just wander off. I'm up here again. Get the ox. We didn't get the ox, Jerry. You're gonna be stuck with Rick and Morty forever. Yes! I've got some ox. <laughs> I've just realised that it's literally called Lungaroo at the bottom. Oh, bloody hell, I've got again. Now we're in Blunder. Oh, no, birds hit me, now I'm back again. There's a picture of him as a, him as a dunce as well. Just, oh god, no. Oh, bloody hell. This is pretty strange. So we've got some uh, M and M characters here in the lungs. Yay, got some rocks. I don't know what that does. Oh bloody hell, they do creep in me after that. Right, avoid uh, the thing there. The tweeting bird. Oh, I can't tell if it's a good or bad thing to stop the water level going up. And I, I presume I've got to try and pick up that old box stuff. Because if I don't, what else is there to do? Music's well funky. Into that. Alright. Oh, I've got two now. Is, is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know! Yay! Got to three. Get out of there before they do their next rotation and then move in. Oh no! She was looking at the grey one. Oh bloody hell. 
we're back in Blunder. Screw you, half horse thing. I have no idea. What if I touch the grey face dude? That is a good point. I have not actually. Yeah, I assumed he was an enemy. He is an enemy. Bollocks. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not to do that. Mm, so you can just pick up this other stuff. So presumably we're trying to make this guy sick because we're a germ, but how does that work? Ah, oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it, and Jerry's life is ruined. Well, I'll keep doing the antibody dance for a while and <laughs> see what happens. Hey, I saw that coming. Oh, get it. Oh, let's stand in the middle. Oh! The brown horse thing is a turd. It's bullshit. Oh. This is very odd. I'm, I'm going to have to read up on how you actually play this at one stage, and what the point of it is. Because all I can find to do at the moment is try and avoid going to the blunder screen by picking up lots of OX and not touching the uh, dudes floating around. Oh, I missed that one. It's weirdly upbeat as well for an illness simulator. But, uh, yay. Oh, no, no, oh, bloody hell. I was too busy looking at the background to see if there's some... Oh. <gasps> uh. <clears throat> that is a very odd game. Interesting, but very odd. Well, that was a bloody thing, wasn't it? Jerry the... Jer I'm going to have to look that up now. Just to get some sort of uh, instructions. Uh, you do tend to forget that some of the very old games, if you didn't have the instructions... You well, we're completely stuck. I mean, imagine trying to play special. Well, don't imagine trying to play special operations without any instructions because we literally did it. Deary me. Well, that was a thing, and I have played Diablo Two Koala God Games. It is a magnificent game, one of the most magnificent in all the land. Hero Quest. Deep inside another dimension, face battling barbarians and evil magic on a quest for adventure in a maze of monsters. This is Hero Quest, the fantasy adventure game where winning means mastering the arts of combat. I'll use my broadsword. And magic. Fire of wrath. Once you get into it, you'll never be the same. Hero Quest. Now with two new adventure packs, the legend grows. Sorry, I just realised that by pressing a button I could play the Hero Quest ad again. So, <laughs> bird sword. The lungs. Oh, go on, go on then. Right, let's see what happens here. You must collect five cans of oxygen. Oh man, I probably got like three, which are produced by four red blood cells, which move in a set pattern viewed from the side. Yes, got that bit. When the cells touch, a can of oxygen appears and needs collecting before it disappears. There is also a white blood cell roaming the screen. If you touch the red or white blood cells, then you go to the bladder. Collect all five, and it's on to the kidney. <laughs> Oh, my jolly green giant goodness. Well, ugh, blimey. <laughs> that is enough Commodore 64. Certainly for the foreseeable future. I think we should, uh, next time, load up. Um, I've got another game planned for the main event, but afterwards I'm going to load up the Hero Quest um, stuff we had going on there and see if we can get the Spirit Blade and then go back and slap the Witch Lord. Anyway, bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. that 
was today's live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how you could have, but you may have enjoyed it. Oh man, bad way, bad day on the midway by the bizarre band The Residents mentions rodent of the astral waste. Yeah, that was a thing. My God. Right. Oh yes, there will be more Space Crusade at some point, MP83, but I'm going to work out how to get it to work on the bloody Amiga version, and that will be a thing. Anyway, good night everyone. Stream ends very shortly in 5, 4, 3, 2,